Okay, I think we're live. I think we're live. I think we're live. Give me a second to get everything set up. Sorry, it's like we got some sun going on here. Uh, I don't have the game launched yet because I was like making my bed. And then I decided, you know, this is the perfect timing to write an email. So I, I did that right before stream. So anyway, uh, maybe that was TMI. But that's why um, that's why I don't have the game up or anything. So give me one second, guys. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I haven't seen you guys since yesterday. I keep trying to get Chapter 2 VOD up on YouTube. And I need to, like, render it. Because I'm trying to blur out. You know that fucking dude who came in and, like, said some shit in a language I don't know? So I'm trying to, like, blur it out. I couldn't figure out what he was trying to say. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, I gotta render that shit. And since it's a seven hour VOD, um, uh, basically I have to leave it rendering overnight. And every time I check the render in the morning, it's like, so, uh, you ran out of space on your hard drive. Y'all are going fucking crazy in the chat. The, the awaited stream is here. Yeah. Sloth gang. I don't think so, dude. I don't know about no sloth gang, but anyway, uh, I realized I have a second hard drive on my computer and like the whole reason I have it is for, is for space <laughs> and pretty much, um, what I could have been doing was just saving the render to that new, like the secondary hard drive that has way more space on it. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. So expect part two chat or like chapter two of Limbus VOD going up tomorrow when it's done rendering and then uh chapter three onwards can also go up so yeah look forward to it in the meantime it's still on twitch though so you can watch it on here and then yeah today we're doing limbus we're doing limbus chapter three the latter half of chapter three let me make sure it's capturing correctly okay anyway i didn't do my intro here What's hoppin' everyone? Fortune Croaky here. Welcome to the stream. Today we're playing more Limbus Company. We're gonna try to finish chapter 3. Uh, Y'all are going crazy in the fucking chat for Sloth. Look, Dice even has Sloth-colored um, username <laughs> on the screen. Dude is going all in. Sloth is- it's worthless. It's the worst Sin Resonance. I'm going to add Sin Resonance- um, what do you call it? rolls to the discord but probably after stream because i haven't had a chance yet i pretty much woke up met a friend wrote an email and now here we are face the sloth save the warp faust was warp faust doesn't have sloth and sloth wouldn't save her if anything saya sloth would ruin the warp faust it's not like anything about her runs off sloth she doesn't even have sloth she doesn't even have sloth egos Faust is in your sloth team? Yeah, but probably fucking default Faust, right? With her nasty ass upward slash. What is that? A four plus four with two coins? Not worth it. Hey, Curry, you finished chapter three? Well done. Good work. Doing me proud. We finished 218 last time. First attempt, by the way. EX clear. So, uh... Here we are, 319. Let's get into it. Warp will provide the envy for my team. Oh, so, so you're not a true sloth supporter. You're I see you dipping Weeble into other Sinathon. They hard earned channel points to say Sitch 3 is harder than these nuts. Okay, well, I would hope that your nuts are not hard, Weaboo Jones. Because I feel like that is a medical condition that you would probably want to get checked out. Yeah. I mean, that would be my reaction if a doctor told me, Hey, Crokey, you have hard nuts. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that from anyone, actually. I don't want to hear that from a doctor or, like, an ordinary citizen. Either way, I just moved chat over to right above me. I feel like the positioning might be better. Clip it out of context? Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You've been diagnosed with sloth nuts. Alright, a bad dream. It was all just a bad dream. See, you don't need to clip anything. It didn't actually happen. We barely managed to defeat Guido. Um, speak for yourself. 
But Sinclair seems to be struggling to endure the immeasurable guilt weighing down on him. Poor dude. Alright, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Don't hit me with the dots, Dice. Don't hit me with the dots. <laughs> what did I do to deserve that? Not the dots. Alright, what are what are we thinking for how long it's going to take us to finish Chapter 3? Like, hours? Waiting for the day Croaky loses a fight because he didn't have Sloth? I don't think that day will ever come. Hey, Oda! Wait, yeah, Oda, how far are you? Have you not finished Chapter 3 yet? Is this spoilers for you? Good luck. Thanks, Oda. You beat Chapter 2. Okay, but you haven't started 3 yet. No worries. Oh, you beat Chapter 3. Well, never mind then. <laughs> okay, cool. Yesterday. A. Nice. Well, good job. You're playing a bit ahead of me. I'm not super surprised. It seems like pretty much everyone's ahead of me. You have become a guppy spender. Saya, you're a whale. Bro's huffing the copium while he wails. <laughs> Dude, how many monthly packs did you get? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Two of each? Respectable. I uh, I thought really hard about it. And I think what I decided on was that I'll get the monthly packs if a character I really want gets announced. Considering they give all that um, paid lunacy and you can use it for those daily 13 pulls, I'm just going to wait. You were at this fight when I was against those three waves of Inquisitor 2 battles before. Oh, okay. So you're just like slightly ahead of me. Be back later? Alright, no worries. See you later, Oda. It's worth because the upfront is paid? Yeah, exactly. The login is nice. But, uh, no, yeah, free-to-play currency for the login is totally fine. It's nice. But I feel like if I were to buy it, it would be because I want that paid currency. And I want to use it for the 13 a day summons. Wait, this is wave 2 already? That was fast. When did that happen? <laughs> we just hit wave 2 while we were chatting. <laughs> Wanted to mention if you buy both packs. What happens if you buy both packs? You unlock super secret uh, character dialogue. <laughs> you have infinite summon glitch with the daily 13 price pulls. Yeah, you can just do one a day, right? Hella nice. One a day for half of a year is pretty fucking crazy. Oh, but you did buy other packs too, Saya. It's one- Oh, it's one per banner per day. So it's two a day? It's just enough to buy the daily cheap one twice? Wait, what do you mean? No, the daily cheap one is 13 a day. The pack gives like 650 up front for the $7 one. 650 or yeah 650 that's how many that's 50 that's 50 summons that's 50 summons total <laughs> just for seven dollars as long as you don't dip into the paid currency and you only do one a day dude faust hit the nastiest fucking target with her representation emitter 60 pulls per month? Well, that's just days. Yeah, but I mean like in terms of money. Like if you pay $7, you get 650 paid currency, right? And then that's 50 pulls total. If you do the 13, the 13 cost one. Dude, holy shit, W Corp Faust top tier, zero damage taken, did more than double the next highest. What a god. Dude, I didn't even have to think about that one. Bottom tier, not sloth? I don't know, man. Did you see those numbers? Sinclair showed us to the basement with a suspicious passage. Faust assumes this tunnel was made by N Corp's staff. Look at this. See? 
You don't even need sloth. It's literally useless. Literally useless. Every team comp relies on every element except sloth. Sloth number is way higher. Proof you said so. Well, at least you outed yourself as being a liar. <laughs> we entered the charred mansion and Sinclair led us to the basement. Where did I put my frog head? There it is. When he opened the door... A long underpass leading to an unknown destination was revealed to us. To think there'd be a tunnel down here. Wait, who opened the door? Oh, Sinclair. So, if my guess is right, then this passage should lead to the branch facility. Why are you keeping this shifty shaft in your basement? Why are you, Sinclair, you little fucking weirdo? It wasn't here before. What? Then how do you know we ought to go to the basement? It's like how magnetic fields draw a compass needle northward. I was brought here by intuition. Alright, that sounds like a likely story, Sinclair. Just how good is this intuition? Is it in the room with us right now? Isn't that what it is? Yeah, fat cap from Sinclair. You're bringing us along to use as sensors for the bows. Sinclair quietly looked at Faust. Instead of answering him, she strode past him and stood before the door. This is kind of looking like bad end for Sinclair. Like he might try to rebel against us or something. Judging from the material, this tunnel seems to have been made relatively recently. It was likely dug by Encorp's expeditionary forces when they had occupied the town. It won't be a short trip. Given that this passage was excavated for their use, we will assuredly run into foes on the way. We should move once we are ready. Wait, this is the hallway that we see um, Guido Merceau in, isn't it? Don't give me that look, Dante. I am simply not in the position to comment on it. Yikes. Yikes, I can't believe we're manipulating Sinclair. Poor dude. My poor son. He didn't deserve this. Alright, let's beat this game. And then wait several months for the update. Alright, suppress is pretty nasty. I feel like Ishmael deserves MVP. She should get it. That's another stagger. Oh, that hammer was nasty though. Ooh, not good. Not good for Donkey. If I was gonna swap someone out, it would probably be Donkey, but I would want another Don to use on my team. And Overbreathe is pretty good anyway. I mean, it's better at high sanity, but... Go! Oh boy. We're tanking a little bit of damage here, huh? That's fine. That's okay. We can afford to tank some damage. Oh god. Good job ish. Okay. It's only two waves again. I realized at a certain point I stopped caring about like the colors I pick and I actually just go for the win rate. I miss when things were simple. Now I play this game like it's Library of Ruina. Bro didn't even roll a heads and still won. Claim their bones is crazy. Nice 22 damage. Perfectly just not enough. Alright. Get him, Roja. Beautiful. Okay, well, I definitely get what people were saying when you said, um, what was it? That 318 is the hump, and then 319, 320, these are kind of smooth sailing. Let's get Axe move. 
or Faust move? Wait, Faust costs Gluttony, right? Yes, okay. So we use Faust here, and I don't think that leaves us enough to use anything else. Great! Perfect. Oh, she does, like, several targets, too, for once. Nice job, Rodia. What a roll. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to have a problem getting to the dungeon. The real question is going to be getting through the dungeon. Oh, man. Sinclair, come on, man. Get him, Faust! Nice! Nice! Faust knows all outcomes. Nice! Who's that guy? Why is he poking my Sinclair? Alright, get in there. They're like all using defense dice. I don't know, man. Does your sloth team first try Guido? <laughs> I'm gonna like give myself bad karma saying shit like that. Uh, you use this. You? Oh, hell yeah. We're going fourth match flame. And of course, I don't have enough for that. It might. Uh. <laughs> You're not wrong, Cloud. <laughs> I said nothing. Alright, get him. Fourth match flame. Nice! Tails! Love rolling tails with that. 35 damage. Get him, ish. Okay, so Snag Harpoon was fatal. It did the same amount of damage as 4th Match Flame, which was resisted. I feel like that speaks to how good 4th Match Flame is. Totally worth building a whole team around it. Alright, frog time's up. Let's go, Rodia! It doesn't seem worth TBH? Really? <laughs> Why? Because it's super expensive and did 30? Okay, but when they are weak to the damage, I've seen it hit like 140. It's so satisfying if they're actually weak to it. You need to do burn? Wait, what do you mean by that? I don't think you need to do burn, do you? After defeating an enemy that has burn, heal HP by a percent of max HP. You just have to have any burn on them. Yeah. Well, but it's not like you need to combo the burn. Like, I feel like the burn that 4th Match Flame has is enough. Like, it's self-sustaining. Only two units can give burn. Well, you don't need to make a whole burn comp for it. Like, I wouldn't make a whole comp just for this one passive. I feel like it's, it's plenty good standing on its own. Yeah. No, because it, it it inflicts burn. And then you just have to kill that enemy. Alright. Unterfurung. I agree. We continue following the underground passage. The branch facility feels closer. I don't know. Also, the, the Sin Resonance fits really well with my team comp. So I feel want for nothing. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna melt into the light. It's like, what is it, 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. and I wanna get some sunlight. So, forgive me if I like cease to exist from melting into the air. Did you add me though? Did I, did you send me a request? If you sent me a request, I accepted it. I accepted all the requests that I saw. The light! He's <laughs> glowing like the, bro, you're gonna give me PTSD. Does that mean I'm gonna go the way Yuri went? 
<laughs> Dude, I'm using my Lamegaton Ego. Please. Oh my god, this RNG. Bro, the number of clashes that I just saw happen. Was that necessary? Absolutely not. Alright, get in there. Please roll some heads ish. At least rupture's broken. You didn't? Didn't see the code. Oh, I um I pinned it in the Discord in the Limbus channel. And it should also appear at some point. Alright, let's see. Or you could just send it to the Limbus channel too, and I will add you after stream. But anyway, yeah, I have all these characters on my support. Plus Ryoshu, but she's not at max up time. Okay, that was pretty clean, man. Uh, Sinclair got double staggered. Should we just give up on him? Sent Miner? Nice. Thanks, Miner. Are we just calling each other Miner now? Uh, um, I don't want to use all of Isha's ammo right now. You're collecting them like Pokemon? Honestly, I vibe with that. I do have SSR Ryoshu, yeah. I just don't use her. She used to be on my team comp, but I swapped her for Rodia. What's going on, Hermit? That sunlight? Yeah, I figured I would rather get sunlight than be visible, so I left my curtains open. Yeah, I have her and I'm not using her because I don't really... I don't know. I don't really like her, um, her sin resonances. She doesn't fit into my team comp as well. Republican who? Thank you for the follow. Uh, I appreciate it, but I don't think I need any promotion. Thanks, my guy. I think I'm doing just fine. How is this struggling more than this? Let's see, Slash series or Claim Their Bones? I'll Claim Their Bones. Finally got Warp Faust for 30? Dude, I will never get anyone to level 30. The cloud, <laughs> chill. <laughs> she has the same scratch as the lady with cleanup card in library. Huh? Who? Oh, you mean Sayo? It's Sayo Ryoshu? Okay, please stop dying, please, please, stop dying. The cleanup card. Yeah, that has Sayo on it, doesn't it? It's the same thing, but it has Ryoshu's face. I don't get it. What is? <laughs> What's the same thing? Her art? Okay, uh... Suppress, I guess. This one might not end so well. Rodion be dying? That she do. We're gonna have to, like, hope and wish upon a star that she does okay. Get in there! Go! Roll more heads! Ishmael! That bleed? Don't worry about it. Bleed isn't real, and it can't hurt you, unless you look at it. Bleed didn't hurt me. <laughs> Doesn't even matter, dude. I'm not even mad. Get in there. It was a painless death. We can only hope. <laughs> I don't believe in bleed. Go! Snag harpoon him! 
We still win this. Oh no. Can y'all chill with the one-sided attacks? It's kind of unfair. Go Dawn! Wow, she did a net three damage to him. Rhodia's dead. Faust is staggered. Could it be worse? Maybe not. Alright, get in there, everyone. Go! Could be worse? I mean, everyone could be dead, yes. Go, Don! Yeah, Don could roll tails on her ego. That would be worse. Alright. Get in there, Ish! Really? Yeah, Ish could roll tails on her ego, too. When you lose the rigged coin flip, how unlucky do you have to be? Stop. Please don't kill my Faust. Please don't stagger Ish either. I kind of need her. She Dawn could just roll tails on overbreathing. She could. That would be pretty unfortunate. This should be an easy 10 turn. You staggered three of them. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the turn count. Um, none of them are staggered right now. <laughs> should be. Not quite the same as will be. Okay. Get in there. Go! Why is Rally rolling so high? Why do they have such high rolls? Stop rolling so high! Damn, the dual strike carry? Honestly, even if we don't get EX, I can just farm it off stream, worst case scenario. My main go goal... <coughs> my main goal is to beat the dungeon. Go! Oh my god, the tails! It's not even like chapter 3 pain, it's the rolling fucking tails pain. You gonna borrow a support unit for the dungeon? Probably not. I don't plan to. Get in there! Faust, yes! That's a kill. Hexnail. Go Faust! Can you not bring them in dungeons? I wouldn't know. Damn Faust, look at that damage! Okay, turn nine. Oh, we got this in the bag. We totally got this. Okay, I got no ammo, so there's no point in using ammo skills. Go! You have to pick it before entering, but you can pick them before entering. Eh, either way. I don't think I will. Go, Ishmael! Nice! Nice! Yes! You're so cool, Saya. Get him! 31! Alright, this has got to be... This has got to be a, a 9 turn clear, right? How many enemies are even left? Yeah, there we go. That was all of them. Dude, two of those guys were at full health. Pulling dupe Gregor for $20 was very cool. I would say it's better than dupe Yisong, but... It's actually the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, not the luckiest, I'd say, anyone's been. Anyway, we made it. We're at the dungeon. Is it dungeon time? I'm a dungeoner. Any other dungeoners in the chat? Suppress the dungeon boss. Oh my god. What is going on there? What's happening there?
Doops when you have no shards feels like getting dust. Uh, dust is cool. Difficulty level 30, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We could always just leave and do mirror dungeons. Um, I'm cool with this gang. Yeah, see, there's my Ryoshu right there. I also have SSR Dawn, but I don't use her. And I have SSR Gregor, but I don't use him because they're sloth. Uh, Ryoshu isn't sloth, but I just don't use her because she doesn't fit my team comp that well. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Worst case, we lose. We waste 60 energy. That's just one Enkephalin box, though. Like, we have plenty of those. We have more where that came from. The branch facility we entered was not as well-preserved as the one we had visited in District 4. It seems N-Corp's Inquisitors have been using this place as their base for a while. Various torture devices and bits of flesh and machinery like those we saw in town came into my sight. Nasty. Worst case, Warp Faust fails you? That would be the very worst case. Please stop. It hurts. It hurts so much. Uh, this one speaks of suffering. It must be a false cry. Pay it no mind. No, the pain. It's real, I swear. Did it not hurt to attach these impurities to your flesh? Did your conscience not scream as you rejected your humanity? Enough. This one is too far gone to repent. These guys are jerks. I can't wait for Rodia to cosplay as one of them. Does the absence of tears not say enough? This one is only pretending to confess. No, wait. I can... I can shed tears, so I beg you, please. We can afford to verify, can we not? Hmm. Indeed, for a genuine effusion of sorrow suggests humanity. Bro, they're making him cry? They're gonna be like, okay, you wanna get out so bad? Cry. Cry for us. Cry for me. Kroki wanting Yandere Rodia confirmed? I do want her. This <laughs> It was never unconfirmed. I'm probably going to roll for her. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, we shall lift your eye. Their heretical depravity knows no bounds. Depravity, depravity, depravity knows no bounds. They've gone so far as to make vile devices that mimic tear glands. We must see with our own true eyes that this isn't the case. They are just, they're just seeing what they want to see. Imagine getting Merceau and not her. Honestly, I don't think I would be that mad. Because Merceau's scary as fuck, and I don't have a good Merceau. I only have Liu, Mer Liu? Liu Merceau. Salem, which trials you float your... Yes. Wait, did you copy and paste your message from yesterday, Hermit? <laughs> did you copy and paste that? <laughs> but yeah, they are literally only seeing what they want to see. We will let you go if we can confirm that your eye socket is indeed of flesh and blood. He has a sloth mare, so give him to the Brotherhood? You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Just because I have all of the characters that I need to make a good sloth comp doesn't mean I want to. I don't have any good sloth ego. I don't know if there is much good sloth ego besides the Merceau ego that's in the gacha. So there is no point in me building a sloth comp. I'd gained absolutely nothing from it. Fumbling the bag? No, I'm good. Oh, no, stop! Huzzah! <laughs> Why did she yell huzzah? You heretics truly are like pests. Never alone with a habit of constantly obstructing our great task. You are kindred creatures indeed. So I'm going to laugh if you have an ego or identity you want ends up having sloth. I honestly will not be happy if that's the case. But if I have to reluctantly make a sloth comp, that will be one of the, the less embarrassing things I've had to do in my life. <laughs> Never alone with a habit of constantly obstructing your or great task. You are kindred creatures indeed. Rodia shrugged when I looked back. New Rodia better fucking not be sloth. I'm gonna be mad if she she better have three wrath 
coins on her first skill. What? I wanted to take charge for once. Honestly, I could see her being sloth, and that's the worst part. Because if Marceau has a sloth ego, then they're probably going to make the SSR one have sloth for, like, comps. Triple sloth. Ugh, I would be so upset. I would still roll for her, I just couldn't use her, because sloth is... Ugh, it's useless for my comp. Like, you saw my comp, none of my egos use sloth. There's zero point in me using it. And my team works fine without it. Inquisitors have transformed the branch facility into a torture chamber for prosthesis users, committing blood-curdling murders. The townsfolk were powerless against the torment. Like, I would have to rethink my entire team comp if I were to try to fit Sloth into it. We just want to laugh at the irony. No! I'll be so upset. I'll be so upset. Like, actually heartbroken. I might cry. I might cry about it on stream. If the new Rodia is sloth. Anyway, this is my mirror dungeon strat where I avoid Abnos like the plague. It won't be that bad, but it will be that bad. <laughs> the first Aleph we get asks for sloth. That's a big if. Considering we don't even have a Wa yet. But it better not. If they release a fucking sloth Aleph, I will send them an email. Asking them to remove sloth from the game. Because <laughs> it personally affronts me. Okay. There we go. First color identity has sloth skills? No. <laughs> what color would even have sloth skills? I feel like Kali would definitely be like Wrath, Envy, maybe Pride. Maybe, yeah, probably Wrath, Envy, Pride I could see for Kali. Roland identity when? That would be cool. I could see Roland having sloth skills. Well, I'll be... You've all gotten better at fighting, haven't you? A faint voice calls to us from the corner. Purple Tear might have Sloth? Maybe, yeah. Purple Tear will definitely have Envy because it's purple. <laughs> she could totally have Sloth. But isn't Sloth... I feel like Sloth is kind of the tank. It's like the tanky um, sin affinity. Like the big slow guys like Merceau. I could see Purple Tear having maybe like Envy, Gloom, Gluttony or something. Or Lust. Maybe Lust. Like Envy, Envy, Gloom, Lust. A faint voice calls to us from the corner. Saude? Saude was resting against the wall, exhausted. She was covered in bites and gnawings left by the Picatula. Ew. They let those things fucking chew on them? Are you all right? Can you get up easy? <laughs> Saude could barely talk, let alone stand on her feet. She slowly began to speak, each word filled with pain. Effie, how is he? Oh, you don't want to know, Saude. Alive, yeah? You must have met outside. You don't want to know, Saude. Everyone is hesitant to answer Saude's desperate question. How could any of us inform her of the morbid state Effie was in, and how we had to put him out of his misery? Yes, he's doing fine now. Honglu answered quietly. The first time Honglu has ever shown, like, an ounce of tact. No sinner came forward to elaborate. That's enough chatter. It seems more of those oddities are crawling our way. A swarm of Picatula approached us. It was as though our guilt about lying to her had gained physical form. You would have thought, but I'm skipping those Abno battles. <laughs> Shit! I can't skip the Abno battles. At least not yet. I'm assuming three floors? Yeah, three floors. Okay. 
Alright, I guess we're fighting some Picatula. We met a dying Saude next to the entrance. No one could answer her desperate question about Effie's status truthfully. She didn't look that dying to me. I think she'll be okay. We just gotta send her back to get some medical attention. But she just got like chewed on a little bit, maybe tortured. <laughs> she'll live. Oh, these guys. Fucking luxurie. I've seen you in the mirror dungeons. Those look like awful lumps of flesh. Has an ugly maw at the front. I thought it was a tongue at first, but what's inside that maw was a hand. A hand made from two twisting arms, coiling around each other. And I saw the eye inside stare into me. As if that wasn't enough, it looked eager to devour me and nourish its flesh. Even if I couldn't hear it, I could tell. It wasn't the first time I saw that kind of gaze. Creepy, considering these are the lust guys, it's extra creepy. And then we got pride. The wheel has often been the symbol of technological advancement. It represents humanity's realization of its ability to think up and actualize things that weren't in the nature. At the same time, it marks the beginning of humanity's transformation into prideful creatures. That might be why pride takes the form of a wheel. The steel circle doesn't ever seem to stop rotating. It doesn't care if it gashes at flesh or crushes patches of grass, because it can roll, while others cannot. Damn, he rolls better than you. You can live from a bullet wound and don't- yeah. She'll be fine. Okay, let's see, you do 100%, 125, sure. You. 325, please win. You? 128, 142, 142. Okay, as long as it's all effective. 16, 133, 133. Alright, you get this guy. And then you. 216, alright. Destroy the wheel. Go. Okay. Yep. Was kind of overkill to have Faust try to fight it, I guess. Can't believe he beat Overbreathe just to roll a 1. Kind of BM. Okay. Get in there. Okay, I don't think we even needed the ego. Yay! Easiest abno fight of my life. Who said we needed level 30? The devs? I'm going here. We met a dying Saude. There's a machine in this dilapidated room. A long bulky lever is at the center of the machine adorned with springs. The urge to pull it is growing stronger and stronger. What will you do? Oh boy, pull it. Gotcha! Pulling a sponta putting a spontaneous thought into action is as impulsive and uninhibited as a child reaching for off-limits marshmallows. Do I get marshmallows? When you pull down the lever, a clack follows soon after. The spring begins to turn, some slow, some quick, some clockwise, others counterclockwise. Watching the machines rumble grow wilder, you feel anxious. I already pressed this! Coin flip! The machine stopped at last. Huh, would you look at that? A small wooden chest rose from the floor. You carefully open it to find a bundle of torches. It's not much, but they should give you momentary relief in the dark. You take the torches out of the room. Yeah! <laughs> I won the 50-50! Start the next three battles with three haste expires afterwards. Oh. Okay, well that wasn't worth it. That was not worth it. Even after several battles, Guido still pursues us with terrifying per What? Guido's still around? We put a stop to him at last, and leaving Saudi behind, we proceed to the next area. Everything was a terrible mess, and no one had the energy to talk. You see a large gate in the distance. There's something eerie about the pointed fences and stoned walls. It looks to be the only way through this area, but it's guarded by a large number of inquisitors. Is there anything we can do about them? Rodia, dress as one. Strike them from behind, run a pride check, then begin a combat encounter. Pa pass to buff all allies and reduce the number of waves by one. Run a lust check, then begin a combat encounter. Pass to reduce the number of waves by two. This one. Lust check. Uh oh, hear you, hear you, for I have a plan. Might as well hear her out. 
You're not sure if it's the best exact idea exactly, but it might not hurt either. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm gonna pass this lust check. We could leave it to another 50-50, or we could do two 50-50s. You're telling me that Faust can't pass this with all three heads. All right, come on, Heathcliff. Come on, default Heathcliff. No! Heathcliff made their move. A heretic, throw the nails. Of course, this would happen. No choice but to fight them head on now. Selected identity takes 10 H. Okay, well, Heathcliff's fine. Win the next battle to earn ego gift. A sign. Didn't I tell you to get someone else? You had the highest odds, Heathcliff. Don't even give me that. Surprised Ryoshu couldn't outroll it? I don't know what happened. Wait, like, Ryoshu, like, my Ryoshu? She doesn't have lust. Yeah, I don't think she had good odds. Uh, we have a ton of haste, though. Oh, it's only three enemies, too. Okay, just please don't kill my team. Oh, boy. Go, Ish! The Ishmael hard carry. I don't think the haste is really doing us any favors, though. Frog hat? Alright. Will do. You're telling me Don Quixote is not top tier? Okay, now four guys. Ah, heck. That doesn't mean the last one's five, right? Please. Please tell me it's not five dudes. You're not running her? Not running who? Dawn? I am running Dawn. Go. We're talking about Warp Quixote? Oh, I wasn't talking about Warp Quixote. I was talking about she. She Dawn. Okay. Fuck you and your rolls. Jerk. Jerk! Holy shit. Of course both my fast people get staggered. So I get like no dice to try to bring it back with. Please don't target the guy who's staggered too. What the f shit? What the shit? Can y'all, like, please target the dudes who are, like, killing my people? Hello? What the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, no, let's tagger this. Let's just target the staggered guy. Yeah, why don't we do that? Can't intercept? Oh, right, they are fast. What happened to my three haste? What the fuck? That's so annoying. Alright, well I guess we just let Don and Sinclair die then. Yeah, just lay into him. Have fun. Yup, there he goes. This is all, all Heathcliff's fault. Failed that check. Failed me. Oh my god. We're getting like really bad coin flip luck. Oh my god. Stop that! This instant! Sanity's probably dropping? Nope, we're still at 45! 
Someone explain that to me. Alright, get in there. My sanity's dropping. I think we can still bring it back, though. Okay. Uh, I'll use you. Do I want to? Yeah, I'll do that, too. Okay, I mean, I think we win this. But losing Sinclair is less than ideal. At least Ish is a beast. Absolute monster. That's two staggers turn one. Oh, Hexnail? Why do you use it on the staggered dude? Faust, you know you could have like actually won some clashes with that. Oh, but I guess she'd rather do 80 damage. Oh, man. Here comes the Dawn Stagger. Look, at least Rodia and Ish are carrying their weight. Unlike some people. Some people named Quixote. Okay, you can win this. You got this. Here we go. Get in there. Okay, one casualty. Less than ideal, but could be worse. Dawn's kind of on her way out. Oh, but she can actually activate her she thing. The damage's still gonna hurt till you find a checkpoint. Yeah, for sure. But Dawn is in haste up range. And that's something, I guess. Nice. So maybe she can actually make the most of Overbreathe now. I heard that familiar yet ominous sound of a nail being dragged across the floor from not too far away. Who's tagging in for Sinclair? Probably Roshu. Manager, if I may be forward, I would suggest soon including steps in your combat protocol to confirm that our foes are dead. The thought of his return makes what hair I have stand on end. Ye heretics must be exterminated. Give it a rest, Guido. How long have you been? Guido approaches at a slower gait than before, but his, ga his gaze is firmly fixed on me. And the rest shall be purified. I needed to rewind the clock. Most of the sinners were either dead or gravely injured. Tell me about it. There was no way an effectively non-combatant manager and someone barely holding onto her life could take him. Please stop. Just then, Saude pulled out a gun. Oh shit! She had that on her the whole time? She pointed the barrel at me? Wait, huh? Wrong target, Saude. I need you to keep still. The moment you try to turn that clock, my gun will blow off your head. The fuck's wrong with Saude? Saude? Don't look at me like that. I can't hear you. But I can tell you this. They promised to let Effie go if I helped to get rid of you. That was almost a spoiler, Hermit. You timed that so perfectly. <laughs> Really toeing the line here. <laughs> I let too much time pass. 
Guido comes to me and grabs me by the neck. Holy shit, Guido. Then he grips my head tightly with his other hand as if to crush it. Saude, you fucking idiot. Effie's dead. Creaks, cracks, and rattles ring inside my head. His fingers being inches away from shattering my head terrifies me. He's a big guy. Is this it? Is this how I die? Could this have turned out differently if I was a better manager? I remember Heathcliff menacingly asking if there was a way to open up my head so he could see what's inside. Tough luck, Heathcliff. Yeah, Guido beat you to it. You'll be missing out on a good show. I heard a sound. It was the sound of something breaking. Fortunately for me... Oh, who killed Guido? It didn't come from my head. Oh, Sinclair! My boy! Guido staggers. A nail was lodged in his back, and Sinclair was gasping for air behind him. You go! He was nearly unconscious, lying still until moments ago. It's a miracle that he managed to get up and do this. I could, yeah, you're right, he was the only casualty in the last fight. He got back up, though! Sinclair, he doesn't know when to quit. I could, easily, I could escape Guido's grasp thanks to him. But Guido stood firm despite Sinclair's desperate attack. He collected his breath and slowly turned around. I see. You two are a filthy heretic. Shut the fuck up, Guido. Put another nail in him, Sinclair. You are... All insane! Out of your minds! The one who grips had once said that you could have become the one as well. Yo, Sinclair could have been the gripper? What a shame. You grip with the wrong direction. The fuck does that mean? Like, when you pet a cat, how you have to pet them a specific way? You grip bad. <laughs> Sinclair, run away. I can't help you no I'm not running anymore I like that answer Sinclair gunfire she did not shoot Sinclair right Saude you're fucking dead okay <laughs> if she shot Sinclair with the bullet struck Guido's head you who bring ruination upon yourselves he's wearing a helmet though that was kind of a not a smart move Saude. The hammer shall continue to pursue you. With those words, Guido fell to the floor motionless. And in that hush, I heard her handgun drop to the floor. Saude. Effie, he's... He's dead, isn't he? You're all terrible liars. At least try to make it somewhat believable. Well, then why did you point a gun at my head in the first place, Saude? What the fuck? <laughs> well, she just wanted to, like, see me shake in my boots? Come on, Saude. Let's get out of here. You'll be okay. Just gotta stop the bleeding and get you patched up. Right. I'll get a tourniquet. Don't be stupid. I can hardly lift a finger. Besides, those Inquisitors will keep on coming, won't they? You guys need to keep moving down. No, I'm okay to, like, step out of the dungeon for a second, actually. Maybe res up Sinclair or something. I'll hold them off here. You should go. You can't... You can't do that! You said yourself that you can hardly lift a finger. I can't let you watch our backs when you're in such a mess. Please? You know, in moments like this, you're supposed to just nod at me and be on your way. I can't believe everyone died. Why do you care so much about the one who volunteered to stay behind? You can't... You can't just... Oh, you're making this pretty awkward, you know that? Here I thought I could have a cool farewell. Faust, please take these absolute dorks out of here. I'll make sure to give Virgilius your regards. No need. Just tell him to come visit and say hello someday. You know what I mean? Of course. We headed for the next area, leaving Saudi to die. 
What a way to put it. Dante really has a way with words. We all stayed silent for a long while. Oh, man. So, the only one who hasn't died at this point is um, that asshole dude from Chapter 1 who ran away. Sinclair's determination to stand up to Cromer after three strikes have three strokes have been drawn. I don't know what that means. Don't give me another puzzle fight, bro. Okay, wait. I hear sounds of something scuttling on the floor. I wonder what it might be, but part of me doesn't want to find out. I want to find out. A steel door rests on one side of the room. It looks too thick to be easily broken or breached with force. There's got to be something totally valuable through there if it's guarded this tight. The sinner might be right. Treasure might be waiting behind the door. What should you do? I want treasure. Oh, it's just a new path on the map. I'll still do it. Open it with force. The steel is thick, but it might not be impossible for a sinner to move it ajar. Who would be the right person to do that? Okay, you're literally a 50-50. We need two heads for this one. Would I rather bet on two heads or a 50-50? Two heads. Give me them. Let's go! Faust pushed at the door with all their might. The door shook little by little but refused to give way. Alright, you've done enough. I tried to get the center to stop, but Faust just kept on pushing, fully focused on the door. Can you imagine? <laughs> Faust of all people? After some time. There! The, path w the door was open. A path was hidden behind it. And she got 20 SP. There's a new path on the map. Oh, oh shit. Secret tunnel? Guido still pursues us with terrifying persistence. We put a stop to him at last and leaving Saudi behind, we proceeded to the next area. Everything was a terrible mess and no one had the energy to talk. I guess I'll get these five on my team. It works. I miss Sinclair already. Rip Sinclair, the boy. His sacrifice will not be forgotten. He's gone until the checkpoint. No! Look, it's two everything theirs. Everything there? Wait. Everything there? Not nothing there? Wait. The fuck is everything there? Okay, wait. I have a ton of observation levels for this. Not fond of writing, but I can't disobey orders. Just don't come complaining at me. I can't write anything fancy pleasing to read. First off, those buggers look disgusting. Weird clay-like things are all over their arms and legs, and they've got sodding eyes on them, too. There's also a sharp blade thing. Couldn't tell if it's a protruding bone or a dried slab of that clay. Spelled protruding wrong. Unless that's the British way. I guess that's what it uses to prod around, eh? Oh, right. We've got a bug guy on our side, don't we? Looks kind of like his arm. Maybe he's got more to tell you. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I don't necessarily love my arm, but don't you think comparing it to that clay monster is going too far? Got a problem? Say it to my face. Heathcliff. Please refrain from causing trouble. Also, profanities have no place in observation logs. You're forcing me to write all this rubbish and I can't even write however I like. Get someone else then. The white-haired lass keeps bugging me, but I'm writing this my way. These buggers spat on me mood spat on me mood enough in the fight today? Those googling eyeballs. Right, those things weren't actually clay. Muscles. That's gotta be it. Muscles. Ripping one of those gave me the same feeling as tearing up an unlucky sod. Seeming, seemed like those bundles of muscles sticking to the limbs were what's moving the body, acting like the whole thing belongs to him. The eyes on the face never flinched, only the ones on the arms. Made it a bit tricky to fight him. I'm supposed to guess where it'll go next based on where it's looking, but that eye thing keep, kept throwing me off. Well, I don't mind taking a hit too much if I can scalp him three times in return. Another thing. Those things looked like they had feelings. Their muscles quivered each time I hit him. Squinted their eyes too, like it was getting mad. Some claddy fruitcake they are. The fuck does claddy mean? What does a CF taste like? Is it artistic? You piqued my interest. Me too, Ryoshu. I want to know what claddy fruitcake means. Maybe I'm going to start using that. That's just a common backstreets phase, meaning something absurd. I know. JK. Ha! <laughs> okay, so we ignore this guy. Look, I am very familiar with these guys from uh, Mirror Dungeons. They're weak to wrath and something else.
But it won't tell us what that other thing is. Weird. Okay. Holy shit, seven speed. Oh, because we still have the haste thing. I forgot about that. Uh, you. 34 versus 50. Damn, they resist everything except wrath. You. 34? Oh, they're weak to, um, purple, though. You pull it. W. A! W pull, Saya! My man. Okay. Alright. Doesn't one of Shi Quixote's skills like being at speed 10? Yes, overbreathe. But it is very difficult to get to speed 10. Oh, Don's dead. Don's dead. Don's fucking dead. Okay, yeah, these guys might be stronger than they are in mirror dungeons. They're usually over with pretty quick in those ones. Okay. Of course he has a counter skill now. Uh, you. Clash with that. At least we can actually redirect things for once. Struggling. Unopposed. And you. Neutral? Sure. Go for it. Mirror dungeons are easier because you're stacking ego with start of hearts than any other general. Yes. All true. But also... I feel like these guys also have higher stats than they do in mirror dungeons. But that might just be... Like my perception of it. Since I don't have the other things. Dude, those ego gifts that heal you in mirror dungeons are so underrated. Oh boy! Okay, yeah. Uh, takes after a skill that hits the unit. Oh, no wonder he rolled a fucking 23. Okay, yeah, let's not do that again. Learn from our mistakes. Stop. Uh, I'll let you do this. And then that. Then who did I actually want to clash with this? Maybe you. Yeah. Alright, get in there. If we can kill one of them, things will be considerably easier. Come on, Ryoshu. This is why I don't run Ryoshu. She just always lets me down. I do kind of want to uptie her, though. She is pretty good at max uptie. Okay, his arm's almost broken. He's also staggered. You. Wait, donkey? She doesn't have bleed. Okay. Get him, donkey. You. Break his arm. Blaming an incredible unit, but loving a mid... <laughs> Don't worry about it, Saya. Tier lists aren't real. Tier lists are just propaganda. Okay. If this doesn't destroy the body, I'm going to be very upset. Memes are the true ego. Hermit is so right. Get him, Don! One HP done. Justice shall prevail. In the name of love and justice. Go Don. 11 HP. Yo, she healed from that? Nice fatal damage. Okay, this guy's coming up next. Get him, Faust. Alright, we didn't quite get a stagger there. 
Wait, isn't he supposed to be, like, nerfed? Isn't breaking apart supposed to make it do zero damage? What happened here? I got no clue. Okay. You. Crush him. I guess he does have zero speed. Maybe that's what happened. Um, You want to deal with that? This should kill him, honestly. So I think we can ignore the other one. And then you. Guys. I'll target that. Alright, get in there. We kind of have a bleed team. What is cast has bleed on it? I kind of forgot. Oh, and Dawn also has bleed on her. We could actually maybe make a meta bleed comp. If we wanted to. Better than Sloth, at least. Beautiful. Okay. Damage. Get in there. Nice! You got Kurokumo Honglu? Nice. Congrats. So you can make that bleed comp, Seiya. Used in certain events expires on use. Alright, well, I'm going to that old warehouse. Dozens of old broken crates littered the floor. Yuck, cobwebs. Clearing things away, you found three particularly large crates buried underneath. These are all locked. Looks like the keyholes have the same shape. Alas, the key is of a soft... Oh, I can only open one. It won't be feasible to use it again once it has been inserted into a lock. You only get one try. Which one should you open? Boost defense, boost tremor attacks, boost bleed attack. Okay. Give me that one. This is... The crate contained a worn helm. Oh, tis the proper equipment of a knight, is it not? One sinner excitedly rubs the helm clean. One sinner with 11 HP. Not a bad haul, all things considered. We carried the helm and our sinner infatuated by it and left the room. Ego gift expi- Oh no, my torches are gone. But we got the top helm. Defense skill power- Oh, that sucks. I should have just gone for the bleed one. Fighting off corroded inquisitors, we made our way to the golden bow. Okay. Last fight before the checkpoint. You pray you get Ryoshu for the guaranteed 3 star? I hope you do too, Seiya. You have my support. It's only one wave! We'll be fine! Just don't lose any clashes, Don. Oh, that's asking a lot. Who do you want from it? Nobody. That's why I think I might just hoard it. I have everyone I want. Oh, boy. Stop rolling heads, please. How many fucking heads are you going to roll? My guy. Oh, God. Don's dead. Don's not dead? No way, the Don lives! The Don lives! Go, Rodia. Really? Well, okay. What's this then? Because she's totally fucking fast enough to redirect this shit. What's this about, huh? Why is she going for a staggered target? What's wrong with you, Rodia? Why would you do this to me? This guy's not even gonna die, is he? Oh, he is. Thanks, Ish. I knew I could count on you. Okay. Ish time. Let's use Rodia for good measure, too. Yeah, I don't really keep low expectations for Gacha. I set my sights high. 
But just at the moment, I feel like I have all the characters I want. What I really want is Ego, though. I want more Ego. Especially for the characters that I have on my main team comp. Speaking of, 45 minutes and I get impending day. Sloth Ego, please don't. Sloth Ego, it like, it would ruin all my team comps. I want this. Give me the torture chamber. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? The Encorp Inquisitors were busy torturing someone. Yeah! A filtered scream fills the cramped room. Their victims are people with prosthetic bodies. Sinclair didn't utter a word, but his eyes full of wrath and fear were fixed on the torturers. He breathed heavily at irregular intervals, his body shaking. He looks like he might charge forth at any second. Do you stop him, or... Use Sinclair for the check to gain a sign. Pass to weaken all enemies. But Sinclair is dead, though. I don't have... Uh, I'm gonna have to fight these guys again. I would use Sinclair, but he's dead, so I can't get another sign. Certain identities lose SP. I mean, that doesn't matter because I'm getting a checkpoint anyway. I don't want to do a combat encounter. I would use Sinclair, but he's dead, so I can't use him, right? That's how it works? Or can I use a dead guy? I'm gonna see. We may not be valiant knights, yet even casting morals aside, we will have to fight them to move on. Do you really mean it? When you explain your plan to Sinclair, he looks back at you with surprise. I thought you would stop me. You're dead, Sinclair. He spoke anxiously, but he seemed nevertheless happy with the decision. Got it. I'll do it. Sinclair sprinted to where the Inquisitors were alongside the other sinners. Sinclair heals 30 SP. Wow! Unselectable. Sinclair stood against them at the forefront, but that hammer might be too big for Sinclair's weapon to stop. Okay, well, I would use Sinclair, but he's fucking dead, so... So, what I can do is... <laughs> Come on, Faust. <sighs> Sinclair is alive in our hearts. Yeah, that's not quite good enough, because I want the sign, but... Whatever. You figured it would be best to ask Faust to do it. The hammer bounced off and the Inquisitors were perturbed by the uh, were perturbed by the retaliation. We'll be able to keep the flow of the battle in our favor by taking the lead now. All enemies inflicted with 5 attack power down. Alright, let's fuck them up. If only Sinclair was alive. <laughs> that really, that early Sinclair death really shot us in the foot, didn't it? It was suboptimal. Suboptimal gameplay. Okay. What is this? Self apply 5 attack power down each turn? Oh shit! Well, that's even better. Attack skill final power minus 3 for this turn. Oh shit! That's pretty nice! That's pretty nice! Go! Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be fine. Hey, Squeak. You came just in time for us to reach the first floor checkpoint. Right after Ish kills this dude. Oh, so close to a stagger. This is the only wave, too. Dude, I love these one-wave fights. Okay, this attack power down is saving our asses. Uh, clean up. Leap. Leap. Uptide your Ishmael? Nice! Yeah, she's really good. She's definitely worth the thread. 100%. Me when Rodion rolls a 24 for damage check and does 64 damage. I love that feeling. 
I love when you get like a 30 and then hit a hundred. Stuff like that. Uh, I don't get to keep my materials, do I? Get in there. You got the three buck package since that's a month of two rolls a day or something? Is it that much? Wait. The three buck package, it's like 130 paid, isn't it? Isn't that just 10 days of one roll a day? Or did you get the $7 package? What the fuck is that? Okay. Checkpoint. Nice! Yay, I got a checkpoint! The top helm is useless. Who would want this? Who would ever want it? Alright, blockade zone. I hear something, sounds of something scuttling on the floor. I wonder what it might be, but part of me doesn't want to find out. I want to find out. And we can bring Sinclair. My boy. Yay, Sinclair. You hear beasts crawling around somewhere? There certainly is the sound of something moving along the floor. So is this the snake one, or is this nothing there? Or is it something else? Oh, it's these guys. I've fought these guys before. This is a full abno? Are those abnormalities? Take a closer look. They aren't abnormalities. See that emblem? Yeah, I didn't think they were. They're like transformed inquisitors, right? Ishmael whispered softly to us. Upon closer inspe inspection, I could spot the emblems she mentioned. They were the ones worn by the Inquisitors. Ego corrosion has rested them. Oh, they're ego corroded! So it is nothing there. You mean that nauseating state? I think it happened to me in battle once when I was on the verge of a breakdown. It was like I was being devoured. No, that only happened to Rhodia. Although it's not quite like consumption in the con conventional sense, I do suppose that it's a serviceable analogy, seeing as it eats away at your essence. And in observation, unlike the last floor, this place does not seem to be exclusively for torturing prosthesis users. It would be fair to say that its purpose is to induce corrosion unto oneself. Yucky. Yo, so is uh, Inquisitor Rodia gonna have this as her, like, alternate transformation mode? Staring at those being... Staring at those being stumbling about... Th Translation team, please. S staring at those beings stumbling about? It would be cool. It would be very cool. I want to see someone go down on all fours. It evoked complex feelings that made me sigh. There better be an ego that makes someone go down on all fours when they get corroded. Maybe um, Backstreet's guard dog. Watchdog? Whatever it's called. Is my artificial head really worth raging over? So much so that they would transform themselves into something far more hideous than having a clock for a head? Yeah, this does seem kind of... Uh, what, what's the word? Heretical? <laughs> this definitely seems worse than prosthetics choosing to lose themselves being possessed what about when they claim the golden bow after going to these lengths will it even be used for their benefit is it called stray dog I thought it was backstreet's watchdog oh is stray dog the ego name Is or is stray dog the abno name I don't actually know then it occurred to me. Am I really so different from those unsightly zealots? When I'm searching for the golden bows without even knowing what they'll be used for? Stray dogs are the muscly dudes. So these guys. Wait, no, the stray dog... Oh, you're talking about the stray dog syndicate. I thought we were talking about Abnos. <laughs> no, I was saying, like, the Backstreet's watchdog abnormality would probably go on all fours when it corrodes. The one that Heathcliff gets in the battle pass. I could totally see Heathcliff just running around like arr, 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 <laughs> on, on, on his hands and knees. <laughs> he like runs up and bites somebody. 
And you're like, Heathcliff, what the fuck? <laughs> Four-legged beast. Okay, maybe I haven't seen these guys in Mirror Dungeons. There are far more, more appalling and fearsome things out there, but I need to make this clear. That looks horrifying. It may look like a wild animal from a distance, but as you get closer, the curiosity turns into disgust, like the feeling you get from beings roaming around the outskirts. Bundles of muscle fibers protruded from its skin, covering its body like a coat of fur. And its ribs seem to have flipped upside down and ripped through the back. Its arms, or should I say legs, definitely had the appearance of human limbs, but their movement wasn't. That's right, it was a beast. Dost thou speak the truth when you say creatures like that inhabit the outskirts? No, you won't find things like that. Well, I never. Then for what reason didst thou use such a description? There were worse things. This is like some Bloodborne shit. He has a chunky evade, too. You need a Heathcliff with a shotgun? That would be fun. <laughs> I would give Heathcliff a shotgun. Uh, so, we do have this option. Are they weak to this kind of damage? Yes. Alright. Turn one kill. We're going for it. What about this damage? Oh, they are weak to it. Full stop Heathcliff? That would be fun, actually. Inflict tremor, apply tremor count. Yeah, the attack power down is kind of worth it here. I might focus one. Wait, what's the damage though? That's 25, that's minus 20. Okay, yeah. You checked and you got the four buck one, which is 600 paid lunacy, so a month. Wait, it's 600 for the four dollar? I thought the seven dollar one gives 650. And the, really? Am I looking at a different one? Maybe... Wait, like US dollars? How come I don't get that much for four dollars? I think he bought a normal pack. The monthly though, right? Or no? Not the monthly? Oh, maybe not the monthly then, huh? Good job, Dawn. Oh, look at all those heads rolls. Not the monthly one. Oh, the monthly gives you paid up front, and then the daily login is free. That's what Seiya confirmed. 75 damage! But yeah, okay, I get you. Branch of knowledge! I don't think we're going to have a problem with this fight. Not if it continues at this pace. 29, not great. Oh, his instincts are increasing, though. Okay, what does that mean? At 4, change to aggressive state. Okay, this guy's got 8. Self-apply 3 attack power up and 3 fragile this turn and change behavior. Okay, maybe I should have saved my ego for this turn. And then he has Tremor on him. Okay. Let's just clash with this dude. And go all in on the other guy. I have no ego material. Okay, I might have done an oopsie whoopsie. Yeah, we're struggling. Did I use my... Did I use uh, the fucking harpoon thing? The background in the fight goes kind of hard. Oh, I hadn't even looked at it. It does. You're right, Squeak. Um, I don't think Slash Series wins this. Yeah, that's hopeless. This one's favored, though. Hell yeah. Get that heads. My boy. Neutral. Struggling. Okay. Oh, our sanity's too low here. We're big struggling. Struggle gang. Wait, can you win this instead of ish? Neutral? I'll do that, and then ish can clash here. Yeah. Go. Nice! I knew I could trust you. Rodia. Come on, roll ahead, my guy. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh, beautiful heads on to claim their bones. Now, if only paralysis wasn't broken. Clean. We're doing it, guys. <laughs> We're doing it. This guy's staggered. His body's almost broken. This guy is using Rabid Ram. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Clash with that shit. We're favored here. Everyone else, all in on this dude. Uh, give me Envy. What is Para meant to do? I think... It was originally supposed to reduce a coin to zero, wasn't it? But the way I saw it work when it used to work was it reduced the coin itself to zero, so they just rolled a zero. Yeah. But I think the way it's supposed to work is make their plus a zero. Like, so they don't get the bonus from it anymore. So I save my ego this turn. And then we clash with this. Yeah, get in there. Stop. Stop rolling high numbers. <laughs> Stop rolling high numbers. Thank you. Tremor also doesn't work. Oh, yeah, I tried it. I mean, I have Tremor Burst on this team comp, but it doesn't do anything, at least from what I've seen. I think Hermit was the one who said it slightly raises their, like, stagger thing, their stagger threshold. But it's so, like, negligible. Yeah, like, I honestly can't make it, like, I can't tell a difference. Um. Okay. You clash with that. You take this one. You take this one. You just whack them. Get in there. Okay, and that's a W in the bag. Floor one, clear. No problems. Zero issues. Sinclair totally didn't die at any point during this floor. 84 damage, you love to see it. Okay, and now that he's staggered, we just get a bunch of free damage on him. I don't know, man. I think mirror dungeons are like a hyperbolic time chamber for training against abnormalities. Because this was somehow easier than 318. Three eighteen was terrifying. At the start of the turn, allies with lust skills have the following. If the unit took no damage from attacks last turn, apply two haste and defense power up. If the unit took damage from attacks last turn, apply two bind and attack power up. Interesting. That's literally only going to affect Donkey. Yeah, Donkey's the only one who cares about that. Abnos are overall easier than human fights since you can actually choose what you're doing. I agree, actually. I think you're right. There are a couple hard Abno bosses, but not too bad. Yeah, I think Abnos are easier. I think human fights I prefer just because there's less thinking involved, it feels like. Abno fights, you're literally just playing Library of Ruina. And while it's fun and it's easier... Sometimes you don't want to play Library of Runa. <laughs> Sometimes you want to just, yeah, pick the pretty colors. We reached the next floor. All around us were torture devices, bits of flesh, and dying townsfolk succumbing to pain. The least bearable of them all is the periodic whistles. Oh no, don't tell me there's whistles on this floor. Sometimes, exactly. Candy Crush, fun game, top tier, bought the battle pass. Alright, let's beat these dudes up. 225. Okay, we definitely want to clash with you. How about you? 325. Holy shit, yes. You? 
That's 125. What about this one? 16. Okay, let's swap these then. Alright. Faust. Leap should kill this guy. You kill that guy. Get in there. Ruina, but the UI is worse and you can't easily change who clashes. Exactly. Also, two cards a turn. So it's Ruina, but better in literally every way. <laughs> Look at that, clean Dawn one-shot. And that's why she's top tier. That's why Dawn's in that S tier. Nice. Is the tier list today? No, I don't think so. I think today we're just gonna beat chapter three, maybe unlock impending day, maybe do like a mirror dungeon. Um. Probably not a long stream today, since yesterday's stream was over 7 hours. I would say tier list probably sometime next week. We've reached the next floor. All around us were torture devices, bits of flesh, and dying time. Oh, maybe we do the tier list post, um, post new characters. Like once Merceau and Rodia get added. 24 hour stream? Uh, I don't think so. I did 12 hours for my 1 year anniversary, and I think, I think that was enough for me. <laughs> Is that a pat from the Yako? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, all around us were torture devices, bits of flesh, and dying townsfolk so coming to pain. And there's whistles. Alright, give me something cool. Yeah, what's this odor? Frog hat will do. Just for you, Yako. Only because it's you. I definitely wouldn't do this if any anyone else redeemed points and made me do it. The sinners frown at the olfactory assault. Following their eyes, you find an inquisitor collapsed on the floor. Uh oh. Who's the imposter that killed the inquisitor? Definitely dead. The smell must be coming from the rotting corpse. While everyone was hesitant to approach, you see something sparkle. Oh! <gasps> there seems to be something amidst the writhing manes. What will you do? Grab it! 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 Gluttony check. I could pass a gluttony check. A sinner easily enticed by trinkets and baubles would probably be willing to dig through this morbid mess to take the item. On the other hand, someone uninterested in such things will not be happy to do this order. Mmm, 45. Let's do it. Go, Don! Come on! Fuck! Don Quixote rifled and dug through the mains, but ultimately found nothing. No, the more the corpse was ransacked, the more Don Quixote wretched. This won't be worth pursuing further. If they have only one coin, that's just 50-50. But I think um, sanity applies here. I think sanity applies here. I think that's why her rate is high. Telling Don Quixote that they did their best, we left the room. You did your best, Don. You tried it. We lost something and gained nothing. Oh. 10 SP damage. All allies take 5 HP damage. Oh, that's fine. That's no biggie. No way it applies and you got a 5% fail. Well, maybe it's not 1% per 1 sanity. Because I always assumed it was. But I feel like I I get tails way too often for that shit to be 5%. 1 in 20? I get it way more often than 1 in 20. Oh, there's another one down here. Oh, I'm going to go all the way around and do that one. We reached the next floor. All around us were torture devices, bits of flesh. and Okay, same fucking flavor text. Thank you. It did say high. Someone data mined and it's 95% for the first coin the character does only. Oh. That's weird. Okay. Very strange. Go. Well. Dawn is getting bind. Oh, and she's staggered. That's just awful. This ego gift is already working against me. Yep. Sounds about right. Sounds about right for the chapter 3 dungeon. 
Please, stagger. Big damage. Thank you. Holy shit, that was massive damage. I love when they just pop from Ishmael looking at them. Beautiful. Okay. We reached the next fucking same exact fucking flavor text. The passage was heated red. Yeesh, that'd melt my shoes. Sinners carefully approached the road only to retreat from the overwhelming heat. Something was written on the sign in front of the passage. Prove your humanity through weakness and separation. I don't know that word. Faust is pulling her weight. She really is, actually. Surprisingly. She's pulling a couple other people's weight, too. Like Don Quixote. Create a path with seared feet. It took no time at all to figure out what this meant. What will you do? Oh, I have to go. I, blah, blah, blah. I gotta send someone ahead first. End Corp Seal. Well, couldn't get that because Sinclair was dead. Pass to gain an ego gift. Failing begins a three wave combat encounter. Yes. Tread the heated path. Faust, it's gonna be you. It won't work. Too many Inquisitors are guarding the other route. We had a sinner scout the perimeter, and it looks like this is the path of least resistance. Someone with a burning will might be able to bear this pain. Faust, this you? Oh, two heads? I'm not going for the 50 50, my guy. Two heads? Come on, Faust! Come on, Faust! Yes! The Faust carry! She is pulling everyone's weight. Faust ran across the heated road on bare feet. The others frowned at the rancid stead. Oh, Faust's rancid feet? Groaning with agony, Faust made it to the other side. An altar with a red seal and a lever rose before them. When Faust pulled the lever, the road quickly cooled. The rest of us were able to tread the path safely. Sloth Gang confused at this performance? Sloth Gang would not have been able to do this. This was a Wrath Gang only event. Okay, Faust took 20 HP and SP damage, but we got a token of innocence. Mission accomplished, Faust. I'm proud of you. Oh, no way. Over, sl over sloth? <laughs> Overcharge buff? Over sloth. Give me this shit. You hear snappy mechanical noises through the closed door. Sounds like a cry for help. As you focus your attention, you begin to hear footsteps. Steel. Those are clangs of steel. Me, when you have to see Yuri again every time you fight Golden Apple and Mirror? Oh, right, they just kind of, like, dangle her in your face, don't they? Overcharge gonna live up to its ruin a counterpart now? Holy shit, yeah. Dude, Overcharge is gonna be nasty for the rest of this dungeon. Sinclair froze. It looks like an Inquisitor is coming for them. What will you do? Give me that combat encounter. I knew I could count on you. We have a checkpoint coming right up ahead anyway, so... Sinclair jumped in as soon as you told him what to do. As you expected, a number of prosthetic people were tied to a rope. You should run, quickly. Yeah, unlike Mind Whip, there is literally no downside to using it when you have no charge. As soon as Sinclair untied them, they hurriedly ran out of the room. Bastards, not even a simple thanks. Some sinners complained, but Sinclair looked satisfied with the deed. That's my boy. Calming them down, we left the room. A sign earned. Oh! <gasps> Wait, I didn't even have to do an encounter? After three strokes have been drawn. So I need one more sign. Checkpoint. Checkpoint gang. Oh. Oh, there's everything there. Okay. Give me that. You see a pedestal adorned with engravings of a nail and a hammer. Must be something to do with Encorp. A sinner mutters, and you agree. Should you try to get some info on Encorp, or... Yeah. Placed on the pedestal was the tome Encorp Inquisitors were often seen carrying. You take this chance to peek at a few pages of it. Ugh. The indecipherable content only gave you a headache. You decide to keep it for now and read it later. I got the Nagel and Hammer Scriptures! What does that do? When using a pride skill, lose 5 SP, but boost its damage by 5%. I'm down for that. 
Sacristy? You mean scarcity? What is scarcity? Oh, it is sacristy. The fuck is sacristy? That's not a word. That's just scarcity spelled wrong. I'm googling sacristy. Wait, is this gonna have spoilers? A room in a church where a priest prepares for a service and where vestments and other things used in worship are kept. Oh, it's a real thing. It's like a, a church place. Church room. Sacristy time? I kind of want to do sacristy. Google has spoken. <laughs> yes, thank you, Lord, great Lord Google, who art in the cloud. All right, get in there, guys. Oh, hat time's up. I assume it's pronounced like sacred. Sacristy? That sounds dumb, though. That dead-end room looking mighty suspicious. Was it a dead-end room? Hmm. Hmm. But, you know, we have to do several fights to get to it, so... Is it really worth it? Certified Sacristy moment. Clean tails on Overbreathe. Beautiful rolls on Suppress. That's what we like to see. If it leads to another sign or ego gift, might be. I just assumed it's not even a dead end, we just haven't seen enough of the map yet to know what it connects to. Oh, we get to see full power overcharge. Show me that. Come on, clash with it. It's going to be such a waste if it doesn't even clash. Really? I mean, at least we killed, I guess. Yay! Okay, it's Sacristy time. Sacristy just sounds like someone's name. Yeah, it's not a dead end. They're just all connected. Sacristy! We reached the next floor. Again. Anything with Blunt Fatal just melts to overcharge now. It's so great. It's beautiful. Why use anyone except Warp Faust? Like, seriously, I'm pretty sure she outclasses Lobcorp Faust. Lies. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to say crispy. So crispy. Um, why did I, like, agree to do this? <laughs> why did I agree to do this fight? I should have just taken the fucking, what's it, like, Guido refight. Uh, can I go back to the checkpoint? I really want to go back to that checkpoint. <laughs> I missed the checkpoint. I don't think I can win against any of these. Maybe you. Optional mini boss? Yeah, I think... Uh, look, if we do die, I'm going the fuck back. You can legally leave. Wait, can you? How do you do that? Nah, we'll we'll try our luck. We'll see how this goes. I ain't no Sacristy avoiding coward. Maybe a little bit of one. This is a certified Sacristy moment though. Die in glory. Yeah, if we die in glory, we just go back to the checkpoint. It's win-win. Look at that. Even Sinclair outrolled that shit. Oh, 
Dawn didn't, though. Oh, she got fucking bone blasted. Rip. The Don Quixote bone blast. Okay, we are doing kind of a, a pitiful amount of damage, though. Oh, boy. Imagine not using Faust Ego spam. Could literally not be me. I cannot even trigger Faust Ego. Uh, 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 Sinclair. Uh, what is this again? It's a 3 plus 10. Uh, you want to claim his bones real quick? Uh, you can do that. I think. Who are you targeting? Oh, Faust. Yeah. And then... Attack power down. I'll do attack power down. Works for me. Thank you, Rodia. She's going to get countered on. Because why not? Didn't really have a choice about that one. He outrolled, claimed their bones, and healed. This Abdo fight sucks. These guys sitting at almost full HP. What do you do? What do you even do in this situation? <laughs> we do have ego. Maybe we go ego time. Die. Why is this here? <laughs> How is this allowed? Maybe I keep... Maybe I keep saving my ego. I'm gonna keep racking up the, the stuff. Dominate him. Thanks, Saya. You managed to almost kill one when you tried? That's how bad it was? You almost killed one. So that's the record I'm trying to beat here. <laughs> okay, well we can ignore these guys because they're both using counters. Dominating. Oh, even better is if we use Ego here. Sinky. You clash with him. Everything's clashing now, right? Okay, and now we can just... Oh, we can overcharge someone. Who do we do it on? You? I think we do it on this guy. Okay, get in there. So if I can beat this, I'm a real gamer, right? Oh, this is so in the bag. This is so in the bag. That body is getting staggered. Pretty real for sure. <laughs> no way. Can't be a real gamer. False. Sloth gaming is not real gaming. Ooh, we rolled a tails. Sinclair, come on, man. Dude really debuffed himself for 11 damage. What if I beat this with my sloth team? Uh, good for you. <laughs> then I'm happy for you, dice. <laughs> Okay, here's what's gonna happen here. You're dominating. Slice and stab is struggling. Big struggling. All right, we go for the... Yes, this is what we do. We go for the stagger. Stagger gang. Stagger und hammer. This one, 4 minus 1. They have so much bind on them. Okay. We kill one. Do we, or do I clash with this guy? I can clash with this guy. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright. Stagger und hammer. No heads. Fuck health regen, all my homies hate health regen. I definitely hate health regen.
Oh, Sinclair with the tiny baby numbers. Bro didn't even get a stagger. Go! Yes! She didn't get full damage, though. No heads, people sad. Oh. Okay, I don't want to stagger them too fast. Okay. That's one stagger. This guy is in... Angie mode. Oh, I forgot you don't get more speed dice in Abno fights. Little Sinclair is trying his best. He's he's doing what he can <laughs> to help out Big Bro. Here's what we're gonna do. Does she not target multiple people? Hello? Oh <gasps> no, it's just that guy! It's just that guy! Hey Cod, we're in the dungeon. Yeah, we're in that dungeon. You know me. Love it here. Love this dungeon. Dominating. Okay, do we want Ishmael to dominate these guys? Maybe a little. Get in there. Please kill. It targets too, but you need a main target. Yeah, so it doesn't let you preview it until you've actually picked the main target. Interesting. And it looks like it actually targets three. But unfortunately, this guy has two speed dice, so we're kind of getting fucked over. Alright, go! You made a lot of bad choices in this dungeon that you regret. <laughs> Couldn't be me! I regret nothing. <laughs> Maybe I regret a couple things, like taking the shitty helmet that only boosts defense dice. Oh boy. Rodia, no! Live! You're just happy Warp Faust is getting mileage here? You and me both, Hermit, but we got a Tails on her. She is not pulling her weight. You died and missed a cutscene? Oh no. Uh, that is a Rhodia stagger in the building. Wait, I could totally kill this guy though. 127. Okay, yeah, we got this. I have no ingredients except Hexnail. So I use Hexnail. You. Dominating, favored. Okay, dominate him. Neutral. Nope, just go for the kill. Neutral, go for the kill. Hex snail. Dominating. He doesn't counter. We can ignore that guy. Let's do it. I hate it when you see a two die ad and they have a counter on the second. Yeah, can't say I'm a fan. <laughs> I do like when they have one die and it's just a counter so that you can safely ignore. Love that. Okay, um... So the plus side is if you break the body, their speed goes to zero, right? Please, Faust. Thank you. No way. Big damage from Hexnail. Solid 55. That guy just healed himself. You have zero speed. Okay. I wish breaking the part made them do zero damage. That would be nice. Um, Everyone's using shit. Dominating. Okay, go Dawn. She's dominating. Running out of bullets there. Six? We still have half of them. We're fine. Nothing to worry about here. You. Big smack. Dominate him. Ish. I don't even have the option to use bullets here. So we are A-okay. 
Reset's done. Back to the grind. Oh, shit. Right. Reset. Well, that means I get Impending Day Sinclair as soon as I'm out of here. As soon as I'm out of here, I get that shit. Okay, you're clashing. You're clashing. You're mostly clashing. Go. All right, the on we carry. Come on. Grinding for that sweet new identities in a few days. Yo, same. I'm pretty hyped for Rodia. I think everyone already knows that though. <laughs> oh shit, that meaty counter. That was an instant Dawn Stagger. Okay. The fact that they counter is so annoying. So annoying. Rodia. You want to clash with this guy? No. Honestly, you might be better off just, please, using this one. A lot of people are screwed on the 9th. We don't have the Lunacy farm till the 16th. Oh, right, the farm. What are we going to do? How will we live? I'm getting staggered if I fight this guy with Rodia. I think Ish can do it, though. And then what? We go for this. Dominating? Oh, we do have Ennui triggering. Yeah, I believe. You're hard passing? What the hell, Hermit? You don't think you'd be hyped? I'm not that hyped for Merceau, actually. I can't say he's the one I'm after. Live, Sinclair! Live! They are definitely very passable identities. But that won't stop me. With my gotcha greed. Clean? Stop. Stop. Don't do that. Stop. Come on, man. He didn't even have to use ammo. You're waiting for an Otis identity? There she already has two, though. Merceau's the one you're kind of happy to get. I don't really have a good Merceau either. That doesn't mean I want him though. <laughs> I like Merceau, but none of the ones that are out so far really, really speak to me. Yeah, he does. Well, he has Warp Merceau. But yeah, his Warp one is pretty... Pretty low placed on the rankings. Dominating, dominating. Okay, get in there, Rodia. Dominating. We go Faust here. Dominating. Beautiful. And then you? Do we just let Rodia tank that? That sounds like a terrible idea. But who's fast enough to redirect it? Dawn? Okay, Dawn can dominate. Liu is just okay and Warp is not very good. That is fair. We haven't seen this one, but hopefully it's hopefully it's an improvement. Um, okay, I think actually Faust kills here, so I just I'm gonna go for you. All right, let's see it. Nice. That's one. We beat Squeak's record. Gamer time? Please tell me that she targets someone else. Bruh. What a waste. What a waste of an AoE ego. Clean! 
you love to see it, except we are not getting overcharged nearly as much as I would like to. Alright, please kill. Yeah, we got this. I wasn't sure for a minute there. You only have one copy of it? Yeah, we only have seven fucking things. So we should be drawing it way more often. What's going on here? I think I'm getting scammed. Okay, this guy we ignore. This guy we beat up. Beat him up. And then we go all ego, all in. Once this guy goes aggro mode. Oh, I don't have a whole lot of ammo left. Maybe I use it anyway, though. Go! And... That's a kill. Alright, last guy. Really? Oh, I have to actually target these. Yeah, you can heal, dude. <laughs> How much is he gonna do this? I'm not attacking you until you go first. Dude, swing first. I dare you. I fucking dare you. Throw the first punch. There it is. Alright, you fucked up, my guy. You done fucked up. We can let this clash with Rodeo, right? Yeah. Okay. Get in there. Pretty pitiful damage. Yeah, that didn't do so great either. Tails, please! Thank you! 40 damage! That was pretty solid. Okay, that right arm might be going down soon. Uh, if we had gotten a heads on leap, his right arm would be broken. Wait, it's broken anyway? Oh, okay. Go all in damage. Uh, I would rather Sinclair. There we go. Go. And this is looking like a W to me. Even though we rolled tails on Overbreed. Can't say that's ideal, but Sinclair is going to mop it up. Beautiful. And there you have it. We did it. Felt like a ruin of fight. Oh, <gasps> Altar of Tears? Don't mind if I do. Wait, there's a lot of shit here. But this actually was a dead end, too. Kind of want these. Kind of interested in these. Give me the altar. A passage carved above the closed gate reads, Confront your fear and terror and prove that you have feelings. Fill this vessel with tears. <laughs> what the fuck? Looking, they like really have a weird fixation on crying. Looking around, you find the supposed vessel next to an unpleasant looking chair. What will you do? Sit in the chair and cry. A gloom check. Bro, gloom time. It appears that sitting on the chair is how you begin the rite. What kind of rite it may be is unclear, but it's the only way to open the gate. Gloom time? Oh, we need two heads on this? We can do that, right? Let's go, Ish! I'm counting on you! Yes! Ho! Oh. Why, well, they have no greed and instead they have gloom? Could not tell you. Oh, greed is the missing one, huh? If you were impaled and tortured with nails, you'd cry too? I mean, true, but I think you'd do a lot more than that. They had the king of greed, Abno. Oh, right, they do. Maybe that's why. Maybe they didn't want overlap there. 
Because the other Abnos are not, like, sins. Ishmael sat on the chair. Dreadful screams filled the room. A constant stream of tears ran down Ishmael's face. I'm so sorry, Ishmael. Soon enough, the bowl was full of tears. When it was placed on the altar at the door, the altar slid down, opening things up. Ishmael's eyes were shaking. It's probably best not to ask what they saw. There's a sigil beyond the door. Taking the blue sigil, we left the room. I'm so sorry, Ishmael. Token of tears. For the identity that undertook the right. Oh, <gasps> yo, <laughs> no way, yo, Ishmael got a nice buff. No way. The gun, yeah, the gun upgrade. Damn, Ishmael got a better Glock. Plus two Glock. Okay, only one way of thank god. Oh, now we get overcharge. Cue the John Wick sommelier. Ishmael Wick. Or John Ishmael. <laughs> wow, those overcharge rolls. No, Ishmael! No! Oh, she's staggered. Yeah. Yeah, she'll be fine. Get in there. Okay. Well, they will not be hurting us anymore. Everyone staggered. Ooh, stagger plus. Just go for it. Nice. Which books have you read? Only The Stranger. And I guess The Odyssey. The Stranger and The Odyssey. No way. Wait. Give me secret mystery? You find a row of glass containers in a corner of the main area. Inside them are dried organs and pieces of life showing active movement. A tragic display. The containers can be opened easily. You might take one of the pieces if you wanted to. What will you do? Gain an ego gift that provides healing at low health. Provides power-ups at low health. Provides benefits after... Oh, give me that tongue, boy. No metamorphosis. I haven't read Kafka's Metamorphosis. I think I've read Ovid's Metamorphosis. But that's it. The slithering tongue attracts your eyes. When you open the container and grab it, it flaps in your palm. You feel as though the tongue is mocking you, so you tried to pick another one, but the other containers won't open. It looks like you can take only one. You took your leave with the item you got. Sniggering tongue. You'll t oh, that's good! That's good! That's a good ego gift! 10% damage if you win- Well, you're not even gonna deal damage- Well, I guess one-sided attacks are a thing, huh? We reached the next floor. All around us were torture devices, bits of flesh, and dying townsfolk succumbing to pain. The least bearable of them all is the periodic whistles. That's the same fucking flavor task that we've always seen. Hideously transformed N-Corp Inquisitors stood guard at the Please don't tell me I have to fight them again. Wait, did you read Kafka's Metamorphosis, though, Squeak? You tried to attack, but they don't appear hostile in any capacity. Only exceptional ones are allowed in this place. To pass, you will prove yourself worthy. You aren't sure what they mean by proving yourself worthy. What should you do? Uh, do a little dance. S uh, where are you, Sin Sinclair? Do a little dance for them. Innocence, Tears, and Atonement. Or the N-Corp Seal. Well, if only... If only Sinclair was alive. Gain a sign. Begin a difficult combat encounter. I kind of want to use violence. 
Let's use some violence. It seems violence will be our most straightforward solution. Heretic. The voice spilling out of that shaking jaw must be one of pure hostility. Allow me to help, manager. Sinclair tightened his grip on his weapon, determination burning quietly in his eyes. Sinclair heals 10 SP. A sign earned. Combat encounter. We had to do it for that sign. Please don't die, guys. I really don't want to go back to the... <laughs> Go back to the checkpoint after this. Oh boy. Oh, it's just three of these guys. Two floors in, this dungeon long AF. Is it? It's not that long, is it? I feel like it's standard dungeon length. Standard dungeon. Neutral, dominating, dominating. Alright. Dominating Rodia. <laughs> I can't speak. Dominate him, Rodia. Neutral? Alright. I'll take my chances with that. 233, 250, 250. Okay, let's go for the little guys. Pick on the little guys. Didn't find it that long, but it is longer than the rest. Is it? The Honestly, the first one felt the longest to me, I think. It had the most, like, full Abno fights. I'm doing a good job. Thanks, God. Metamorphosis is pretty nice. You had to read Crime and Punishment and The Odyssey. You read a bit of Moby Dick. The book kind of sucks. <laughs> Rip, Ishmael. Damn, sucks to be from a shitty book. Yeah, I never had to read Crime and Punishment. Uh, I've never read Moby Dick. I would read Hellscreen, but I read a, um, like, the synopsis on Wikipedia, and it seems kind of awful. Like, the content is kind of really unpleasant. Um, I might go for this here. Gloom. Oh, we got that Gloom buff. Gloom buff. You never had to read the Odyssey, but you're reading it for fun. It's like, I mean, Greek myth in general is pretty fun, so I feel that. Do I let Don tank this? I think the answer is no. So who's clashing with what? Rhodia? You are gloomy, you're unopposed favored. Okay, you clash with that. Rhodia has to clash with one of these. Okay, well, let's see how that goes. And then the homie Sinclair, I will save. 2,000 years ago? Oh, wait. Odyssey is pretty sick. They knew how to write books in the good old times. True. Those based Greeks. Alright, let's get in. At least we only eat one hit. Rip Rodia. Clean 70, or not 70, 65 damage. Um, yeah, please don't roll that 10 again. Okay, wait. Nice. That's one crawling dude down. I think we win this. Dominate him. Who are you targeting? Ish? Oh, you're gonna regret that, my guy. He rolled that 10 again. How did he do that? I thought once you beat an evade die in a clash, it goes away. I will do 225 damage to this guy for funsies. He had two? Oh, that explains it. Hoo -hoo. You would have thought. You also would have thought. 
Damn, it sucks to have low rolling evades. Doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, they are both in Angie mode. What level is your team? I think 25. I think everyone on it's level 25. I finally got Sinclair up to match the rest of them. Uh, let's see. Wait, what do I have the ingredients for? Literally only Dawn or Rhodia. I think I go Dawn here then. You can just click them. 25. Yeah, everyone's 25. Uh, let's see. Favored, neutral, neutral, favored, favored. I'll take a favored. Struggling. Okay, yeah, don't struggle. Dawn? She's dominating. You got this. You got that. And you got this. Okay. Let's see it happen. Go. Rodia, no! Thank you. No, <laughs> never mind. Uh, don't die, Rodia. Oh, Rodia's dead. Damn. Those were nice Ishmael rolls. That move's real spooky. It did so much damage even though she wasn't staggered. That's health back for Dawn, right? Oh no! Oh no! Sinclair! His ego lost that clash! Okay, it's a good thing this guy's done. Just one guy left. We got two staggered people though! Two staggered dudes on the board. Ooh. Alright. Go for it. Beautiful clash wins. Not so beautiful. I hate that a tie doesn't get rid of it. How did his ego lose? You tell me. <laughs> I wish I do. You've never read Don Quixote, but you know the gist of it? Same. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm like familiar with the story, but I've never read the original. Silly ass windmill fighting dude. Alright. Make sure Ish is clashing. Go. You've never heard of Don Quixote until now? It's a pretty funny story. It's about a crazy dude who thinks he's a knight. It's basically just Don from this game. And he rides a donkey. Alright. Ego time. Ego clock. I'm gonna eeg. Um, okay, that's hopeless, so I let you clash. Go. He also collects purple tear stickers. Oh, right. I forgot about that part of Don Quixote. <laughs> He also gets killed by giant four-legged monsters. Thank you, Rodia. No, thank you. Sorry, I revoke everything. I revoke everything I just said. Really, Rodia? Some people on Tumblr were mad because their literature was being taken. <laughs> they have got to already be used to it after fake grand order like honestly fake grand order has been around this long people cannot still be getting upset about gender bending historical figures or novel characters or whatever literature majors those silly geese we got a sign sinclair's determination to stand up to cromer 
And a checkpoint! Hee <laughs> hee! Alright, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Dude, I love AI literature. Okay, snake abno fight. And then we're done with floor two. Okay, let's see it. We've reached the next floor. Uh, literally the same, same flavor text that we have had for this entire floor. Let's get into things. Snake fight. Nobody actually like explains what these abnos are, do they? Maybe, well, we still have another floor left. Floor 3 is an emotional mess. I don't know, there's been nothing going on this floor. <laughs> what? <laughs> who, who mentioned shrimp fried rice? Squeak? <laughs> I do love that meme. Ugh, you gotta be kidding. Why do I have to observe this thing and write a log about it? I hate this kind of stuff. Reptiles, bugs, all that kind of critters. I can't stand them. Not you though, Greg Sweetie. Anyway, we still gotta fight this thing and all, so I did my share of looking. Um, first of all, there's a whole lot of snakes. It's got these huge serpents instead of arms, and bleh, they kept flicking their tongues. Are those the fingers? And that's not all. Smaller snakes were poking their heads out of the armor, too. Isn't the whole suit filled with snakes? Yipes, I want to unsee that mental image. Okay, well... So, we had one fight, which is apparently these dudes, but they're infected by, um, nothing there. And now we have them, and they're just snakes. Coiling arms, swinging arms. Thrashing arms. Behavior depends on the amount of instincts. Uses aggressive skills at plus four instincts and becomes defense-oriented at zero. Okay, so he starts off aggressive. He's slithering for sure. Oh, there's just no doubt about it. Yeah. Okay, we're favored in this clash. Neutral. I would go for that one, I think. Neutral again. Odds are not looking good here. Okay, maybe we just make you tank that. How do you unselect something? Like that? Okay, who are you targeting? Faust. Who are they all targeting, actually? Oh, you're going after Sinclair. Inquisitor played too much Hogwarts Legacy. I guess that game does that to you, huh? It turns you into one of these. 3 plus 3. Okay, you can do that. You're pretty neutral. Go. Faust. 
fight this one. You fight this one too. And that's Rhodia, right? No. Oops. Rhodia's got a clash with that. Don's got a clash with this. You're clashing with Sinclair. You just become a furry instantly. Is this... Would you call that a furry? A scaly, maybe? Get in there. Nice overbreathes. Whoa, that was at zero sanity. I just noticed how much health he has. A slithy. <laughs> Same. Is scaly not the the medical term for it? The dog inquis they were definitely on the furrier end of the spectrum. Paralysis. Fix the power of three coins. Yeah, see? Fix the power of three coins to zero? Why doesn't it work on these guys? Oh, I could smack his left arm, though. Well, his right arm's doing all this shit. While his left arm's just chilling? Okay, wait. Okay, he is going after Ishmael and Dawn. What? What's it to you? <laughs> I think... Medical experts call it a scaly, right? Favored? Yeah, go get that one. Uh, not a whole lot I can do about the rest of this, so I might just go for the left arm. I might just go for that left arm. Not a whole lot else going on. Just fuck him up, I guess. I don't know. Good luck tanking, you guys. That is a lot of hits to tank, too. Why is he doing this? Seems kind of unfair to me. Oh, you'd be surprised, Squeak. You would be very surprised. Okay, we gotta beat up that left arm. No! Stop! <laughs> don't! Stop! Don't! Leave Ishmael alone! They say reptile or mammal? Mammally? <laughs> Reptile-y? Yo, wait, the character from Avatar The Last Airbender? Reptile-y. Okay, Paralyzed didn't do anything there. Faust with the dog shit coin flips? Classic. Okay. These three are all tar- what, four. Four targets on Faust. Is furry means having fur, what would a frog be? Um, slimy. <laughs> that one I'm the medical expert on. I'm at the forefront. Croaky? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Don't do me like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a croaky, guys. <laughs> I hate that. I hated this battle. I can't say it's not stressful. <laughs> He's got a lot of health. He's rolling a lot of dice at me. I am incredibly intimidated. Oh, Faust. No, Faust. No, Faust. No. Faust, no. Stop. 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 Leave her alone. Leave her alone, my guy. Leave her alone. Oh, she's dead. Whoa, 3 HP. You died to him twice before getting... I am so glad that there are checkpoints in this game. Uh, yeah, this ain't going so great for me. Oh, wait, but... Huh? 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 Alright, fuck your left arm then. I'm going right arm all the way. Yo, he actually... He spared Faust. He spared her. The bleed's not gonna do anything. She's gonna recover from the stagger. And everything's gonna be fine. You won because of the apple corrosion? Uh, the only thing I have on this team that could corrode is... What's-her-face? 
Uh, well, I guess I have I have Faust's Hexnail and I have Rhodia Match Flame. Warp Cope? Excuse me? You're telling me to cope because of the character that's been carrying me through this entire dungeon? Missed a cutscene because of the- how does that happen? How did the Inquisitors make you miss a cutscene? I was your Faust? What? <laughs> Excuse me? You're my Faust? No way? Yo, send me some selfies, Drago. <laughs> there was a three wave. There was one on the first floor, and it fucking killed my boy Sinclair. What is this? These are all... Oh, they're not all right arm. Oh, he's going hard on the instincts. Uh... Should I just... I might just go for, um... Ingredients here. Right arm time. We gotta stagger that thing. Yeah, I just want as much ego as possible right now. Because he's gonna go fucking sicko mode. Oh... Oh, Faust, don't, 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 don't do anything. Don't do anything. Just sit tight. <laughs> when does bleed go away? Does chapter four come before or after season ends? I think it's at the same time. I think chapter four and the new battle pass come at the same time. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna feed Faust. You were her when she was getting beat up. Oh. Uh, you know what? One turn. We give her one turn to see if that bleed goes away. And if it doesn't, then we sacrifice her in the name of Hexnail. Come on, Don. You could have done better than that. Stagger, please. Thank you! She dies before Hexnail hits? Oh, because of the clash? That's so fucked! Why are you guys staggered? How did that happen? What? <laughs> the poison staggered them? You can't do that shit. Don't pull that shit on me. What? What is that? Nah, dude. No. <laughs> That's BS. That is some severe bogus. Terminal even. Okay. Oh right, R wait, Rodia gets the 10% bonus from the tongue. Okay, 32 damage is pretty weak. But he's bleeding. Okay, that arm is almost gone. Terminal bogus amogus, for sure. Rip Faust. <laughs> She's just gone. Uh, we're gonna... You, you have to move on. Faust isn't coming back. Dominating. Okay. Rhodia. And then next is... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Why you do this to me? Okay, I actually don't want Sinclair to die. He can tank like a hit though, right? Rip Warp Faust, no carry left. You're right, wait, how am I supposed to win this without the Warp Faust carry? Oh shit, okay. Okay, the donkey carry. Break that arm. Oh, we're so close. Oh no. Rodia, no! Why did you get the worst fucking roll known to man? Please! <laughs> Please, ish! <laughs> what the hell is compulsion doing? Neutral should not count as an L in compulsion. That makes no sense. Bro didn't even roll heads when we needed it most. Sinclair let me down. 
Okay, arm broke. He's got one arm left, at least. And I think we stagger this arm with Sinclair. Okay, go. Let's go! Okay, now he gets a heads. Sinclair bringing it back. Earning my trust back. Um. That poison. The fact that poison staggers you is like. Huh? <laughs> why? Exactly? Remind me? Remind me why, <laughs> why that happened? <laughs> <laughs> and she rolls a fucking tails. HP. Th well, <laughs> I mean, I get it, but <laughs> but why? <laughs> there should just be two HP bars, one for stagger and one for HP. Oh no, he hit us with the fucking stank mist. Okay, this is awful. He's got no arms left. How's he doing that? If the other arm is not broken at the end of the following turn, this part regenerates with the same amount of HP as it. Self applies 5 fragile and inflicts 10 poison to all enemies. We dead. Uh, you got your impending day. Oh shit, I want mine. I just gotta finish this dungeon and then I can get it. Okay, ish. This is not gonna end well for anyone. Donkey. And, yeah, your boy Sinclair. Yeah, I guess we gotta break the body now. Okay, if we can zoom this shit... Oh, he takes 50% extra damage this turn. Get in there! In before Sloth? I thought people confirmed in the Discord that it's not Sloth. Come on, Ish! Come on, Ish! Kill him! Kill his shit! Okay. Well, watch everyone get staggered next turn. Thank you. Attack power down, carrying hard. 26 damage, okay. Ish is dead. Yep, Ish is completely and totally dead. Poison's gonna do her in next turn. Come on, Sinclair. No, you let me down with the fucking tails. Tails. <sighs> 75 HP on this guy. Okay, only Rhodey is staggered. But I have nothing. I have nothing. Impending day would have rolled heads. It would have. It would have, and I'm so mad about it. This dude just. He has so many things. How is this allowed? Hopeless. Oh, uh, that's not great. Hopeless. Hopeless. Maybe we just... <laughs> uh, um, so, Rhodey is dead. So, Rhodey is dead. Time for ruin of suicide strats? What is the strat? Oh, wait! He bled himself to death! <laughs> we unga? Yo, he ungaed himself. <laughs> Yo, he ruined a suicide strat in himself. If an ally takes a lethal attack, they heal 50% of their max HP. Oh, <gasps> no way. Dude, last floor, hill of corpses. Um, is that Cromer? Dude, he ungaed himself. The area has transformed into endless hills of corpses due to the Golden Bow's influence. You see Inquisitors praying to somebody. Thank God for the checkpoint, right? I don't think I could do that fight again. <laughs> I will not be farming this dungeon, I think. That bleed was so clutch. That was the most clutch bleed I've ever seen. I see endless mounds of dead bodies. The Inquisitors were raising their arms in unison as if to worship something. And there, Cromer stood at the highest peak. 
She held out her hands in a prayer-like gesture toward the golden bow atop an altar. The fathoms of the ego are already open. I see someone has resonated with the bow before us. Uh-oh. This is her ego, then? The hell are they up to? What are they raising their hands for? Prayer. What is this sound? You're getting a phone call, Ishmael. This feels awfully familiar. Somehow annoyingly tingly and unpleasant. It's a school bell. Our boy hated school that much, eh? The playful conversations seem to lighten the mood of the sinners. How Sinclair feeling? <laughs> Save for what? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> the one who should have been the owner of the Fathoms still showed unease. <laughs> no, I don't want to show my memories. They're, they're... Unfortunately, his plea held no power over the realm. Gonna go eat a golden... Yo, delicious. It's like a golden doggy bone. All right, everyone, listen up. The one who grips so declares. The one who grips so declares. Not only are those heretics disturbing our sacred right, they are now after the offering that is rightfully ours to consecrate. Disgraceful and defiled are they. Disgraceful and defiled are they. What is this, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? They just want the golden bows to make the best sandwich ever. Go forth and die. Do not fear your end. As long as the offering of gold is with us, you shall be brought back to life again and again. We shall fear not, for the one who grips is with us. We shall fear not, for the one who grips is with us. And, Sinclair, hurry over. You belong in my hands. No greater joy exists than to be wielded by the one who grips. No greater joy exists than to be wielded by the one who grips. I... I... Sinclair? 10,000 lunacy for... Excuse me, Saya? That sounds like heresy. Did you bring the coin? The breaks between classes are always lively, since everyone gathers around to talk. The adults would often watch us from afar, and take this as a heartwarming sight. But there's something they don't realize. When you take a closer look, these merry interactions are brimming with envy, vainglory, pride, and guile. Yo, if Cromer uses Sloth, that explains so much. Sloth users are Cromer followers. The Sloth users are part of the evil Inquisition. Down with Sloth! That must be some... <laughs> I, I don't want to think about it, dude. Children are crafty creatures. I heard Rahul from the next class over is getting surgery on both arms by his father. Gonna be with some new tech that's never been shown before. How cool is that? He's getting his arms replaced with snakes. Rahul was the boss we just fought. You know this actor on all the magazine covers? Did I ever mention they're getting an eye transplant at my mom's clinic? The waitlist was so long, they personally begged to be moved up. I grow more anxious with each boastful story my classmates tell. In yeah, I can't believe it. We fought Rahul. What can I share? Their expecting eyes pointed at me, felt like they could turn into scoffing leers at any moment. This is a secret, but... I swallowed nervously. <laughs> Maybe they weren't asking me for a story after all. But I had to keep their curious eyes on me. I knew for sure that I'd become an outcast the moment they looked away. My dad signed a contract with P Corp. They saw the technology he was working on and agreed to give their full support. I think that's the first we're hearing of P Corp, right? <laughs> P Corp. My goodness, just what was I thinking when I spilled that? Out of the fear that I'd be isolated from my peers, I carelessly spelled my own ruin. Maybe I was compelled by some childish urge or an inherent desire to be recognized by the other students. Rip Sinclair. He just wanted to be popular. Now, Emil, this is a confidential agreement for our business. You mustn't tell another soul. His insistent reminder echoed in my head. I could see his face. Whoa, is that for real, Sinclair? 
P Corp? Like that wing? Wow, I'm jealous. I became the center of conversation in a split second. I can feel the stimulated eyes of the other kids in class drawn to me. Superiority was pretty damn sweet. I guess I was driven by a depraved craving for attention. Deepest lore, Sinclair loves attention. He dung he really do dung goofed. This kid, his fucking, his papa told him to tell no one. And you know what he was like? Guess what? Everyone in class, I'm so cool, and my family is going to be rich one day. Oh, right, Sinclair. Your procedure's soon, isn't it? You know, the prosthetics. Clout chaser. Truth. Nah, he doesn't deserve that. <laughs> Poor Sinclair. He's been through enough. Y yeah, of course. They told me I'll get the newest model if they paid just a bit of attention to my face they'd have noticed the reluctance in my expression fortunately no one ever pointed it out a massive wave of guilt eventually washed over me after our break was over and i was finally left alone dude the prosthetics thing is kind of weird like, it's kind of weird how hard they push it. Like, oh, I'm so excited to cut off my body part and replace it. I was supposed to keep that a secret. What if father finds out? It kind of reminds me of Starving Anonymous, where everyone's like, I want to be good meat <laughs> and get eaten by the gods. It's pretty fucking, like, weird. Yeah, like dystopian. Dystopian horror shit. Exactly. Blood was leaking from my fingertip. The bad habit of biting my nails whenever I felt anxious ended up hurting me. But this is like a wing, or it's a nest, right? So even the fucking nests are psychotic on the inside. Like, people in the back streets are not missing out. Is this one Korean dystopian movie where everyone got insane plastic surgery to where they look like mannequins? Uh, I've never heard of that, but that sounds terrifying. You could have cool robo arms, you would. Eh, I don't. I think I'd be Sinclair Camp here. Like, I don't think I'd have the stomach for it. I tried clipping them as short as I could to work on breaking it. But I never considered that I might bite into my skin instead. Watching blood droplets fall on the desk, I thought of something. Oh, he could just get, like, a prosthetic finger to chew on, like a dog toy finger. And then he could, like, unscrew it and stick different, like, chew toys onto it. That would be sick. You could have, like, a fucking teething finger. And then there's one that you screw on that's, like, a ring that you can chew on. There's one that's, like, a bone. And they have, like, different, different hardnesses. <laughs> Busted finger chew toy meta. Yeah, uh, I think I agree with Saya here. <laughs> I like having working functional real body parts probably pass yeah no yeah like exactly doesn't mean there's anything wrong with people who do choose to do it you would do it if you really needed it oh well yeah i feel like that's a different story though like if you already lost the body part then you do nothing but gain from getting a new arm but it's like i wouldn't chop off my arm to replace it because that shit uh, personally, I couldn't do that. Once I graduate, I'll get a prosthetic replacement. And then I'll never get hurt or see my blood ever again. Bro, he's gonna prosthetically replace his entire body? He's gonna look like the dude from Chapter 2, the box with a brain in it. The Tieku gang leader. Will I get robotic prosthetics over having robotic armor? Oh, true? Yeah, you could... Hmm... It is different though, like you have to wear the armor. If it's your body, you can be buck naked and still be a robot. Seem pretty excited about the robo- f Okay, the robo finger chew toy was an idea for Sinclair, not for me. But if I lived in this society, I would be fucking rich off that idea. Like I would patent that shit and I would be like so high class in this nest. I would be like the, the prosthetic chew toy guy. 
Gloria was a- oh, Gloria was a cool thing. I like Gloria. Just become Iron Man. You can turn your pinky into a multi-tool? Or a chew toy! <laughs> you can do both! You could have like a chewable screwdriver on your pinky. Wouldn't that be sick? So you could use it as a screwdriver and you could chew on it. Yeah. Trademark. Fortune Croaky. Registered. I'm calling calling the trademark people right now. I'd like to register a trademark. <laughs> but is that really? You're bleeding. Someone cast a shadow over my desk with a whimsical whistle. She was a classmate I rarely talked to, so I could barely remember her name. Flustered, I stuttered out my response awkwardly. Kind of weird that they were classmates because Sinclair gives me, like, little boy vibes. What, what was that? Listen, what you said earlier. Is it legit? What if it's already trademarked? That would be insane. Wait, that would be nuts. Imagine, like, people are already planning the, the finger chew toy meta. That would be, like, some valuable info, though. Like, that's some top-class, like, classified shit. Um, y yeah, it's legit. I see. Your father must be a real big deal, isn't he? Yeah, um, I guess. Her unexpected flattery has me embarrassed. Cromer doesn't look that- I feel like- Current Cromer looks way older than him. I don't know why. Modern Cromer looks like an adult, and Sinclair looks like a little boy. It's not <laughs> well, he doesn't know. As if my father's greatness were somehow my own. Though, so, why did you make that face? Uh, huh? You know. You were thinking it to yourself. Mass murder ages you? That is a fair point. That, I, like, that pretty much solves it, I think. I would expect someone given the title one who grips to have the appearance. Yeah, well, you'd probably have to spend a lot of time gripping to get that title, too. <laughs> Captain Hindsight. Hell yeah! Captain Hindsight! Yo, the, what's it? Purple Hindsight? <laughs> Newest fixer? <laughs> then she lowers her head and whispers for only me to hear. That's it, filthy. Th wait, <laughs> that's it, filthy? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it's a serious moment, and I'm... Uh, that it's filthy. <laughs> I thought she called him filthy. I thought she was like, I'm fucking done, filthy. <laughs> that's it, filthy. <laughs> Any Death Grips listeners? No. Not me. <laughs> Grip? Okay. <laughs> That's it, filthy. My eyes widen. Not just because I was surprised by how she knew what I was thinking. Oh! <gasps> no way! He could have been an Inquisitor! Wait, I thought he just didn't want to do it. He thinks it's filthy? Sinclair, I thought you were better than that. But the fact that a total stranger like her had been able to figure out exactly what I'd been th hiding. Uh, how did you know? I could have gotten away with it if I'd just denied her accusations. But tactlessly, I asked her that with a dumbfounded look on my face. <laughs> because I agree with you on that. You, you agree? He doesn't like it, but he wouldn't go as far as Cromer. That's fair. Yeah, he's not a psycho murderer. Yo, Sinclair, yo, screenshot this shit, put it on Twitter. Sinclair, hashtag cancel Sinclair. She agrees a bit more than him. <laughs> you can see a lot from those who are on the same wavelength as you. Nice to meet you. I'm Cromer. Ever since then. Cromer and I became friends who'd talk often. Oh no. Oh no, they were besties? Sinclair Cromer besties? 
They carved on a tree S plus K inside of a heart. This is so sad. I guess it would be E plus K because his name is technically Emil. Besties not for long though. Long enough. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> would be a love story if she didn't. Yeah. Uh, I think pretty much everything that went wrong is on Chromer here. She really chromed it. Okay, go. Hashtag Chromer moment. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Sinclair, no! Faust, avenge Sinclair! Thanks. Okay. Next, please. Google Chrome moment. <laughs> I was gonna pull out Google and search Chrome moment until I understood what you actually meant. <laughs> Hearing bells that may be familiar to some and new to others, we peek into Sinclair's past. He sits in the middle of a lively classroom full of chatty students. <laughs> Dude, I am going to Google Chrome moment. I want to know what comes up. <laughs> I just Googled it, and it was like, did you mean Chrome moment? And it's like, there's apparently a Google Chrome add-on that's like a dashboard called moment. <laughs> Great, thanks. As a household rule, my family used to have breakfast at the same table every morning. It was a pleasant time when our whole family would share stories and encouraging words. I liked those mornings. That rule was ever so kind and gentle to my heart. A natural and unchanging world that belonged to me. My world. That world began to feel alienating one day. The day when my sister sat at that table after her prosthetic transformation was complete. Bro, is that what his real parents look like? No fucking way he has CD Nemo for a dad. It's Nemo, but instead of an iPad, it's just a fucking cylinder? Okay, poor Sinclair. <laughs> poor Sinclair. My world had begun to change when my father's head was replaced with an unfamiliar contraption of steel, circuits, and wires. Nemo had the sickest fashion. You're right. Nemo, Nemo was way drippier than Sinclair's dad. Sinclair wishes his dad was Nemo. Dante got the drippiest. He do, actually. Like, compared to these, she, his mom literally just has a fucking chunk of metal on her head. Is that offensive? That would be pretty alienating. Yeah, right? His dad's holding... Oh, and they don't even eat. They just plug fucking chargers into their faces. Yeah, like a little color at least. Or like something that's not... This one looks like an iron. Like it literally looks like a cloth clothes iron. Yeah, Nemo's iPad still had a face at least. I'm just an inquisitor all along. Well, I'm not gonna kill him for it. But like... <laughs> But she plugged a fucking USB thing into her head. That's weird. Our family breakfast no longer provided warmth and connection. It became an occasion of detachment where I talked less and less. Dude, Sinclair did nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong. His dad is just Nemo with a worse head. Like, if his dad was Nemo at least, then, like, he would have a face that could emote. Don't get the lore behind this in prosthetics. Yeah, right? Wife with a toaster for a head? <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, I don't want, like, my daughter to have an iron for a head or whatever. It wouldn't have mattered. Uh, 
I don't I wouldn't see this as an improvement. It's literally a fucking donut. He has a metal donut for a head. Ah, I had started to feel an inherent abhorrence for prostheses. Sinclair did nothing wrong. Yeah, it's not fashionable. No, but like you can like what do you call it? Fashion and function. There's got to like with this much technology, there's got to be a way to pull off a drippy prosthetic that also is an improvement. The reason why the head wants them to look this way, if you remember the very end of Ruina, I don't. Or are they like robots should look like robots? That feels more fucking messed up than anything. <laughs> Drago, chill. <laughs> I thought it was more like a coin laundry slot. <laughs> <laughs> like you just put 25 cents in and then the iron turns on <laughs> and it's like great you can smooth the wrinkles out of your clothes now <laughs> living in the city where life is cheap a way to tag debilitating wounds would be in a tra uh, 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 no nah no nah i i don't see it no <laughs> that's filthy my heart couldn't accept the idea of replacing one's flesh and bones with something else, let alone the need for it. And they're doing this when it's not even necessary. If it was a necessary process, you could justify it. But this dude's going out of his way. He's like, bro, I can't fucking wait to get a, like, literal magnet for a head. I am so excited to get my head chopped off and my brain injected into, like, a little horseshoe. At least get something cool like a gun arm? Yes, right? It's basically just immortality. Is it? It doesn't seem worth it to me. Like, okay, and if it was just immortality, save it for when you're on your deathbed. Yeah, they don't even look good. Like, if you're gonna die, then plug them into a robot, maybe. But don't just do it out of fucking nowhere for the hell of it. Bro, okay... Inquisition based? <laughs> Dante knew what he was doing with that clock head. Yeah. See, Dante's a perfect example. He did it right. <laughs> You'd never lose your keys, just stick them on your face, I guess. Or you could just put a GPS on your keys and not modify any part of your body. Endless suffering when they meet them, Inquisitors. Yeah, maybe they don't deserve endless suffering in exchange for all that. Maybe it's a little too far, but but Sinclair did nothing wrong. Absolutely, Sinclair. No, no sins on Sinclair. Yeah, the CEO. If this dude owns a company and he's got like a deal with a whole ass fucking like P corp, he can afford to get a cooler head than than like one of the fucking circular magnets that you have in like high school science lab. Nemo, yeah, no, Nemo was cool looking. Nemo was based. Portable phone charger, but you are the charger. <laughs> and then you, like, put the phone on your face, and it, like, sticks to it and charges. <laughs> like, one of the ones that you don't even have to plug in, you just set it on top and it rests there. Oh, but you could be the phone. Wait, portable phone, but you're the phone. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Sinclair's dad ain't it. I don't know what this dude was thinking. But that is that is not a way to convince your son to get prosthetics. Why do we use prosthetic bodies? Oh, please explain. Please explain. Yeah, I carefully asked for an explanation, and the reply was simple. The human body, in its unmodified state, is too old-fashioned. Bro, it's just... Like, it's a fucking trend. It's a trend, but it's not even, like, trendy. How would a trend like this catch on? <laughs> At least make the prosthetic sick as fuck. Like, put flames on it or something. Put, like, f fucking Guy Fieri flame decals on it. Sinclair's family is goofy as fuck. His sister is a toaster. <laughs> His sister's a toaster. His mom is a, a fucking whiskey cube. And his dad is a high school uh, physics magnet. Race car head. Race car head would be sick. 
dude, yeah, just get a fucking like actual car for a head, but like miniature, like a rem like an RC car for a head <laughs> with your brain inside the driver's seat. <laughs> Sinclair's dad is looking old. Yeah, right. If anything, this shit looks old-fashioned. It needs to be sustained with food, revitalized with sleep, lest it should fail from fatigue. And injuries take a long time to heal. Oh, so they're like, yeah, you know what? I don't really like sleeping, so I'm going to get a big-ass circle for a head. Just become a transformer. Yeah. Optimus Prime. Fucking Starscream for a mom. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was Starscream. All this makes the human body incredibly inefficient. He concluded that prostheses will grow more commonplace as time goes on, and ultimately become a regular part of our daily lives. I thought to myself, you would get it if prosthetics were more like cyberpunk? Yeah, replacing your head is goofy. Like, when they were talking about it earlier, too, I was imagining, like, okay, yeah, Rahul, both his arms cut off, replaced with snakes or whatever. That's, like, okay, not a huge deal, not like, okay, maybe it's minorly life-changing, but not insane. But his whole fucking family has big hunks of steel for heads. Imagine how much more you could waste time with eight more, that's fair. And I could probably stream without getting tired after seven hours. Guys, wait, what if I get a big old fucking pyramid for a head? Metal pyramid. And then stream all the time. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of sick. But yeah, no, this is too far. This is like... Like the arms I get. The whole... Like, these are just robots at this point. Their whole body is just... Like his mom, her hands are robotic. Her neck is robotic. Her head is... We only have to, like, guess about what's under the clothes, but, like, his dad, hand, wrist, head. Like, at this point, what what's human? The lesson to take is how... Yes, exactly. If you're going to get prosthetics, either necessary prosthetics or sick-as-fuck prosthetics, but don't get a goofy-ass big old circle on your head on top of your shoulders. The insides are human. Like, in, like, in there? I feel like if you were human insides in a metal shell, wouldn't that, like, hurt you? Yeah, just don't put, exactly. Don't put a big slot in the middle of your face, because people are going to put quarters into it. <laughs> well, I guess if you want to be a donation box, then maybe that's a plus, but... How did the consciousness transfer? That's also a good question. Like, is there brains in here, I guess? They still have blood and brains. Sinclair literally said flesh and bone was replaced. So it's just flesh and bone, but the blood and organs are still human? Yeah, well, the brain... Because if once they don't have the brain, then... Then they're... um, What's it? They're breaking the law, right? They're breaking the law that the head set. Because then at that point, they're just an AI. Yeah, Angela's not allowed. She was a copy. But that means all the Sephiroth and Lob Corp are allowed? Because they're boxes with the brains of dead people in them? Is that legal? I thought they were illegal. I thought the Sephiroth were also illegal. How do they keep their brain functioning with robo- Oh, right. Because if you have a human brain, your human brain still needs fucking sleep. What are you going to do? Like, inject voltage into your head instead of sleep? The one time prosthetics is appropriate for someone like Yuri and it didn't happen, but we... <laughs> right? Yeah. Wait, Yuri's head was intact. Well, okay, her brain might have been consumed by the maggots, though. It might have been too late for Yuri. Sephiroth still used the organics? Yeah, okay, so the Sephiroth are technically legal. They did look the same as the Chekyu Gan leader. Gan? Gang leader. And uh, he was walking around in broad daylight, so I would assume that's fine. But for the Sephiroth, they were dead, so that was like a last resort. These people ain't dead. <laughs> they're just, uh, they're just crazy. Anyway, 
Why don't I just fall behind the times then, if that's what the mainstream will be? Though that wasn't an argument rooted in logic. Yo, Sinclair. You don't actually want to take the replacement procedure, do you? She looks the same. How long ago was this? I nodded without a word. But your parents sure wouldn't like it if you confessed that. Isn't it frustrating that there's nothing you can do about it? I nod again. What if I helped you out? You could live a free life with no worries about any of that junk. But, but how? That you'll find out next time. In exchange, in return for helping you with your problem, you'll help me deal with a grudge of my own too. Oh, I wonder what Cromer's grudge is. Nah. Nah, I think what we learned from this flashback is that prosthetics ain't it, bro. <laughs> At least not in not this kind of prosthetics. Like, even if they replaced everything but the head, that wouldn't be that bad. Like, that's still justifiable. But yeah, only Nemo tier. Nemo's only. Nemonitor. If someone said those words, I'd back out ASAP. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're gonna help me settle this issue I have with someone. <laughs> I don't know how he doesn't get, like, bad vibes just from her voice. Like, her tone alone is a red flag. All right, no damage this time. Sick. Oh, what if we get a Nemo identity? Where it's, <laughs> it's the iPad with someone's face on it. <laughs> But it's just like a PNG of their face on the iPad. <laughs> that would be so cool. Dude, like, oh, who would it be, though? I could see, like, Merceau. I could see Nemo Merceau being a thing. Maybe, like, maybe Nemo Ishmael or Otis? Or Yisong. Nemo Yisong would be funny. Probably because Sinclair was vulnerable emotionally and mentally, and Cromer knew exactly what to say and how to play Sinclair to how she wanted him. Yeah, I guess he was kind of like, not in a good spot, psychologically. Makes sense. Alright, I have no fight. Hearing bells that may be familiar to some and new to others, we peek into Sinclair's past. He sits in the middle of a lively classroom full of chatty students. Is that the same flavor text again? <laughs> <laughs> Just Merceau's face on an iPad. One day, a new transfer student named Demian was placed in the class next to mine. That's the name of the book he's from. What the fuck? <laughs> and Herman, or Herman, or whatever, is the author, Herman Hess, of Demian. So there's, Her there's Herman, there's Demian, and there's Emile Sinclair. He was surrounded by a crowd every time I saw him. But I got the sensation that he didn't feel attached to anyone around him. To me, he seemed as if he were almost floating in the air. He was aloof like that. Likewise, he didn't seem too interested in me either. That's how it was at first, at least. It happened during a boring engineering class. My eyes kept drifting away from the board, and before I knew it, they were looking out the window instead. Through that window, I saw him taking a walk. Bro, why is he outside during class? <laughs> what is this Demian kid? He's a truant. Like usual, he was surrounded by his fellow students, wearing a faint smile. Even his expression felt different from the kind someone his age should make. 
That smile carried a mature yet solitary aura. Basking in the sunlight, he stroked his hair. Huh? <gasps> huh? And maybe he has like a different class schedule. <laughs> I guess. I guess that's one way to explain it. Or he hates school. Not a truant. I think he's still a truant. Look at that tattoo. Huh? I thought I caught a glimpse of some weird red thing on his forehead. That's rude. <laughs> Yo, Sinclair has like no tact. Was I mistaken? Maybe it was the blinding sunlight reflecting off his skin. And then? I had the feeling I made eye contact with him. Oh, that's a mark. Like how he can see marks, right? Whatever that means. Some students were still chatting outside. As soon as I felt his gaze, I quickly averted my eyes and looked down at my desk. Ever since that strange incident, Damien started to talk to me in a friendly manner. Oddly enough, on the days when Demian approached me, Cromer didn't come to greet me. Dude. In before Cromer's like, go kill Demian. <laughs> Nevertheless, whenever she had a chance to, she'd come and make sure that I remembered our promise. I often have this dream, Sinclair. In it, I climb an endlessly long ladder. Then everything down below comes into view. The nest, the back streets, the outskirts, all of it. That means been playing too much Metal Gear after school. And when I look beneath my feet, all the lights are out in the city, as if the end of all things had come. Fallen into silent death, empty of any motion. Indeed, it's the state of death itself. Demian, have you been to the outskirts? I whispered to him, frightened. He was talking about a forbidden place where no one could or should go. Sinclair, the world as people want to define it can't be divided into places of where you should and shouldn't go. That's a yes. Do you think love and freedom can be found within the confines of this nest? Compared to here, life is much richer in the outskirts. There's something I've been pondering for a long time, and I thought that maybe that's where I could find the answer. Whenever I spoke with Demian, I could feel my soul mature a little. Wait, so if Demian is the name of a book, and Demian's from the outskirts, is this a Library of Ruina reference? some lore here like actually but i never mentioned my fears about the upcoming prosthetic procedure or my peculiar relationship with cromer even though he wanted to know more about me i was hesitant to share my secrets i was too ashamed to bear my deeply hidden fears before him and finally the promised day had come Yo, Sinclair, can you show me your basement? Her words struck me out of nowhere, yet they were as light as a feather. That's sus as hell. How does she even know about the basement? She asked me that as though it were something as simple as picking up an eraser, and I almost caught myself agreeing to it. Well, why our basement exactly? If the rumor I just so happen to hear is right, your house is connected to a scandalous place. There's something I've got to check. Yeah, right? Who walks up to you and is like, hey, can I get a tour of your basement? <laughs> like the basement specifically. If they invited themselves to your house, it's a little weird, but like, fine. Especially if you're friends, then like, normal. Can I see your basement? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but my parents won't like it. I couldn't even bring myself to finish this humiliating sentence. If you let me check it out, Sinclair. Yeah, Sinclair, just use the classic excuse. I'm sorry, my mom said no. <laughs> I swear I'll keep that promise with you. Cross my heart. Just sneak me the basement key and I can navigate just fine. Now, now it's even weirder because she wants to go to his basement alone. 
Unable to detect the faint, familiar feeling hidden in her words, I slowly nodded. Thus, the world of evil began there, right in the middle of our house. <sighs> well, that's how Sinclair knew where to go. Okay, can I just be lazy here and go for win rate? All right, well, it's working. <laughs> Okay, if we stagger this guy, come on. Nice. Oh, he did. Okay, and then damage. That was so easy. Wait, there's another phase? Hold up. Uh, okay, this one I'm actually going to control, I guess. Let's see, we have... Hmm... 125, 125. Might as well just clash you. You. 125, 300. You go for that. 150. Uh, 37, 275, 30. Okay, 275. And. Let's see, you're one hit, you're four. Okay. So we should follow up on you, though. Alright, go. Okay, this guy should die? Yeah, nice. Suppress busted. Holy shit, overbreathe one shot? Alright, and uh, that's a one turn. Cool. Who's next? Okay, well now we get to see what happened in the basement. And it is just the same flavor text. After stealing the key without my parents noticing, I took Cromer to the basement of my estate, as I had promised. From there, she led me to a dirty air vent. Crawling in the unlit vent for a while, a dank, grimy odor and the sounds of small critters scuttling about assaulted my senses. My clothes were stained with filth, my throat was parched, and I was overcome with the desire to go back. That's when I noticed that the smell my nose picked up had just changed from the stench so far. Can you feel it? Cromer whispered to me. There's something up ahead. This might have been the last chance I had to turn back. It might have been better to dissuade her with all kinds of sweet placations to leave and come back later. Even if I knew that empty flattery wouldn't work on her. But before I could try, a vile curiosity came over me. I was entering a world where villains belonged for the first time. And for some reason, I gave up turning back. All while knowing in my heart that I was squandering my last chance. Oh, the loathsome sight I had to witness. It was something I couldn't think to behold twice. Could monstrosity be an apt description for what I saw? So I'm guessing he saw an abno? It seemed too sentient for that, yet it also seemed decidedly wrong to say that it was even remotely human. Shuddering in fear, I started to regret stepping into this world. Sinclair, you idiot! Look at yourself! Hoping by some miracle to get another chance right after you've wasted it. Along with my regret, I had the feeling that I'd never forget what I saw that day, until the moment I die. 
뇌리를 파고 들어왔다. 그, 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 크로머. 크, 크로머. 나, I, I've got to go back. 돌아가야겠어. 하지만 크로머는 달라. On the other hand, Cromer was enraptured. She was mesmerized by the scene, watching intently as though she had made a discovery of a lifetime. Leaving Cromer all enamored to herself, I crawled backward for the exit. Why is my basement connected to such a horrid place? Good question. Why is there a vent going from his basement to Lobotomy Corporation? How did Cromer know this? Why isn't she scared either? I could almost hear Cromer's spine chilling whistles with the wind blowing from behind. Why is she whistling at an abnormality? <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. The very next day, Cromer came to school as if nothing had happened. Sinclair, thank you so much more for showing me precious things. Take these as my thanks. She handed two mysterious coins to me. Skill coins? Anyways, keep... Oh, <clears throat> always keep them at your side. Got it? All I could do was nod. Since then, the things I saw in that vent constantly haunted my mind. And I began to consciously avoid Cromer. Dude, how would you even be able to live in a house above that? Like, after you see that shit? He would probably have nightmares every night. Like, that's traumatic. I could picture myself involuntarily trembling in terror just by looking at her. But there was something I needed to take back from her. The basement key. My parents could find out at any moment. One minute of sorting the keys is all it would take. For the first time, I betrayed my parents living in a world of warmth. I was afraid that my deviation from their world would end up becoming an irrefutable fact. Cromer, won't you give it back now? Give back what? The basement key? And I mustered the courage to ask one day. Cromer burst into laughter, as though she didn't expect this from me. Intimidated, I slowly stepped back. Oh, and here I was wondering what you were struggling so hard to say. Fine, you can have it, Sinclair. We don't need the key anymore. And besides, your grudge will most certainly bear fruit, Sinclair. You didn't want to get your procedure, right? He's realizing that having a magnet head dad ain't so bad. Well, I guess it's better than the alternative of having, like, no dad and a psychotic best friend. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's not wrong. You remember our promise? You fulfilled my grudge, so it's only fair that I pay you back. I was too absorbed in the relief of getting my key back to realize what Cromer was really talking about, and I curse my ignorance for it, about what Cromer's we really meant. It's okay, Sinclair, you're my son now, about why she said it's not needed anymore, and how she was going to fulfill my grudge. I didn't think to question a single thing, and for that... I regret my inaction. I curse my foolishness. Sinclair, what would you have even done, though? What would he have done? Even if he, like, did question it. I guess he could, I don't know, go to the authorities? He doesn't have a lot of options here. Cromer's a total fucking psycho. We should replace all of her fingers with chew toys. Now that would be poetic. <laughs> One wave fight. Alright, get in there. If overcharge doesn't... 
Nice. I was gonna say one shot, but I <laughs> I realized the odds of it one shotting are pretty low. But at least it's staggered. I'll take a stagger. Or just take her bones. <laughs> yeah, but that one's a little more um, violent. A little more violent than I'd like. <laughs> Although I guess we will end up doing that anyway. Like, take her bones using claim their bones on Sinclair. <gasps> no way! Deepest lore? The bones that... So, actually, the bones that Sinclair is claiming in his blade lineage identity is uh, Cromer's bones. <laughs> Project Moon left this in as a little Easter egg. <laughs> Never lucky. Faust literally throwing. Alright, slash, series, dual strike, energy cycle, go. Beautiful. We lost a little bit of health on Faust. But relatively clean victory. I sure hope there's a checkpoint before the final fight, though. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, Abno Battle. So you ended up giving Cromer the key. Don't worry, there is. Oh, okay, thanks, Cod. I appreciate it. How do you know that? Demian had this ability to get a grip on things I'd never mentioned to him. When I asked him about it, he just said it's something you learn by carefully observing others, and didn't elaborate further. Sinclair, a series of much more painful events may await you in the future. But you mustn't give up. That pain will foster your growth into a beautiful being. So if Demian's a character, does that mean Odyssey is a character? And Stranger is a character? No matter how complicated and perplexing those statements seemed, Demian's mystic charm made them all sound convincing. Listening to his speech gave me the hope that I could really grow. I was hopeful that I could become a worthy being. Oh, and crime and punishment are both characters? Yeah. But I don't really get it though, Demian. It's up to you to find out. Make sure to tell me your answer when you do. His voice was soft, and his eyes imparted pleasantness, but I still felt compelled to do as he said. His eyes must have held some kind of power. Disarming those who make eye contact with him, sapping them of mental strength. But, if that's the case, why didn't he warn me? It's something I still ask myself to this day. Who is this Demian dude? What's he doing here? Oh heck. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh, maybe I save the ego, actually. Let's see, what's your damage? Decent. 150, 125. Let's get the small guy first. Overcharge. Yep, better damage rates on this guy. Go for it. Please. 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 Okay. Oh boy. Wait, wasn't wasn't Rodia supposed to clash? Who's clashing with this guy now? Oh no. Oh, it's Faust. Okay, that's fine. Dude, staggered already? K 
Okay, this is also the only wave, thankfully. Uh, maybe Ego now? Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to Ego now. Get rid of their, um, what do you call it? Their evade. So yeah, Ego here. Maybe have you Ego too? Uh, I don't think we need to. Let's see, you should get the kill here, right? Plus 200%, it's a 4 to 16, which means it's a 12 to 3 times 16. As long as we roll one heads, I think we kill this guy. Maybe we do that just so we don't risk it. Okay, then you go in there. Go. Ah. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Only Rhodia can clash? Okay, here's what we do instead then. Come on. There we go. Rhodia clashes there. You... Honestly, what if we just do this? Nah, this one. Okay, go. Alright, he dead. Didn't even have to worry. Tails, please. If possible. Thank you. Thanks, Rodia. I owe you one. 123! Holy shit, look at that damage! And that is why we run fourth match flame Rodia. Uh, nobody's fast enough to redirect this shit. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, Rodia. Uh, protect yourself, please. Go. Holy shit, we got terrible rolls. This guy's doing way too much damage. Stop that. Please stagger him, Sinclair. No! Think she's gonna be the next character you invest in? I highly recommend her. I was not planning to use Rodia from the start, but uh, you know, she was just too strong. Could not say no. Ah. Uh. No, stop, stop. Y'all gotta chill. Okay, wait, is that a stagger though? Okay. So at least these two won't take any more damage. <sighs> Holy shit, Ishmael's low on health though. Yeah, no, but Rhodey is sick. Thank you, Dawn. Bruh, how many more fights before I get this checkpoint? What the hell? <laughs> this is starting to feel like Library of Ruina. It was Christmas Eve, and the whole town was filled with jingles and joy. Oh! Wait, I just understood why there's like the... In Sinclair's ego, you know how through the prison bars, there's the scene of the people with shape heads celebrating Christmas. Yo, it makes sense now. Now we understand. It was Christmas Eve and the whole town was filled with jingles and joy. Under the blessing of the holy night, I was planning to confess my sin to my family. I wanted to tell them that I made the foolish mistake of stealing the basement key and that I'd go back to being a good son. That the short time I spent away from the right path was agonizing. That I learned how peaceful and fulfilling the world I'd been living in truly was. My family might be surprised at first, but I was sure they'd welcome me back into their paradise. That was how it should have been. But instead, they die on Christmas, is my guess. However, huh? 
I was supposed to hear a robot dog greet me when I stood at the gate, but my home was covered in silence and darkness. Oh no, Sinclair! Sinclair, my baby, no! When I walked inside, I was confronted with a fallen paradise. No! Sinclair, run! It's fucking Cromer! Oh no! Wait, and is that. Sit. Sink. Sit. 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 Bro, they got Guido here too! Someone smashes my father's head. Okay, yeah. Inquisitor's not based. Not even a little. It's a disturbing individual wearing rusty silver armor. How unsightly of these non-humans to still admire humanity and display false emotion. Let those impure things be, Guido. It's their survival instincts kicking in. Or should I say, they're scared of shutting down? <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. Can I, like, edit that part out of the VOD? Pieces of metal, flesh, and blood fly into the air before hitting the floor. Sinclair? You're here! Uh, uh. Cromer approaches, carrying a hammer stained with blood and flesh. Oh, this thing? Ever since I was little, I couldn't stand being involved with filthy affronts to humanity like these. Because I'm a humanitarian who loves all things human. Now imagine how it feels to face the son of a pack of those affronts to humanity. Just what should I do with you, Sinclair? Hmm? My legs have long given up. My mouth couldn't move. It was as if my whole body refused to cooperate. I saw Cromer standing right before me. I couldn't dare look up. Terror kicked in with the realization that she was so close to me, and my eyes shut themselves tight. The thought that the same hammer that crushed my father, mother, and sister would now come for me was unbearable. But nothing happened. Confused, I carefully opened my eyes and lifted my head. Cromer was watching me. Making a perfect smile, just like the one she'd made when she first came to my desk and told me her name. Well, you are my hero, Sinclair. She then reaches into the pocket on my school shirt and takes out a coin. It's one of the two she handed me the other day. From now on, you'll doubt everything, be anxious of everything, and live in ever-constant terror as your memories of me haunt you. Holy shit, she's awful. Like, what the fuck is wrong with her? Like, what happened to her? And when the time comes, I will call for you. Hey, someone take this kid to safety. Lay a finger on him and I'll make you regret it. Amidst the piercing noise, storms of heavy footsteps and disorientation, I lost consciousness. Dude. I'm kind of curious how Cromer knows Guido. I wonder if we'll find that out. Okay. Get in there. Who are her parents, right? You think Guido could have raised her? I think it's possible. All right, well, Ishmael is just tanking more damage, unfortunately. 
Not a whole lot we can do about that. Uh, overbreathe, claim their bones, slice and stab, leap, shove. Alright. <laughs> the who are my parents makes me think like, where are her parents? <laughs> Why is she doing this? <laughs> Or is her chaperone? Okay. And kids, this is why you never date crazy. I don't think Sinclair even had much choice about that. <laughs> Just don't talk to people. That's the lesson. Oh, this was two waves? Oh. Uh, okay. Ego time. Wait, let me make sure I can use all the ego I want to, though. Okay, so you can use that, you can use that. Okay, she can go that. Okay. Dual strikes. Branch of knowledge. No. Branch of knowledge here. Dual strike. Slash series. Branch of knowledge. Leap. Energy cycle. Snag harpoon. Get in there. Go, Ishmael! Well, that was kind of loud. <laughs> stagger him! Didn't stagger him. Good damage, at least. Go, Rodia! Win those clashes! All right, 32 damage and some bleed. I'll take it. Okay, it looks like Faust is just gonna tank some damage here. And looks like Ishmael's also gonna tank some damage here and possibly die. Not great damage. Okay. Pierce? I guess I'll go Pierce. This guy's just defending. What a coward. Alright, get in there. Please don't kill my Ishmael. I need her. <laughs> Now, if only Paralysis did something. 9 HP, 8 HP. Sit up straight, okay, fine, if you say so. Didn't get heads, that means no curse for me. Very unfortunate, very sad. We're very unhappy about that turn of events. Okay, that's one dude staggered at least. That guy's close to staggered too. Uh, okay, Sinclair is staggered. Ishmael. <laughs> the next two times she tosses an attack coin, take four day. Okay, that is awful. That's terrible. Because that means she dies. And there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Who is she clashing with, by the way? And there's two coins on him. That's so fucked. What about this one? Hold up. Yeah, I think Ishmael dies here. Very unfortunate. Very sad. Wait, before I hit that... One coin. Okay. We can do it. Come on! Don't die! Don't die, Ishmael! We staggered him! Don't die! Oh, she healed! 
Ishmael, you beautiful beast! How did she get that health back? Oh, because she would have died and the thing triggered. Oh, the thing that saves me triggered. Oh no, and now Faust is dead. Y'all gotta chill the fuck out! Stop that! Holy shit! Holy hell! Someone tell these dudes to relax! Okay. Get in there. Okay, wait, this dude staggers on any damage? Is that a line I see? Is that a line I see? A stagger line? Please? Stagger? Maybe? Nope, he didn't stagger. Oh. Alright, that guy's dead. And y'all said it keeps going? Y'all said there's more after this? I can't say I'm super excited to replay everything again. Alright. Okay, so Faust is going to have to get swapped out. Very unfortunate since she was carrying us. Alright. Please tell me there's not much more. I need a checkpoint. I need it bad. Nah, dude. Nah. <laughs> How can you do this to me? Yeah, I guess I'm taking Ryoshu this time. We're gonna have a wrath issue now. Just three more. Um, just those two? Well, we'll see. When I came to my senses, I found myself in an alleyway at midday, heated by the sun. I stayed there on the ground, dazed and confused. I could see a haze rise from the surface. Thanks, Cod. We can make it. Two or three more. We'll find out after this one, too, because we'll be able to see two ahead, and we'll see what's coming up. Same, dude. I can see a haze rise from the surface. Sinclair. A crack has been made in your world. I felt like I was starting to understand what the strange feeling I often got from Demian was. I always found it weird how I never heard his footsteps. He's not real! Demian's not real! Lim Car Company? Yo, can I get a ride from the Lim Taxi Company? Why does everything arrive in desolate silence as if it belongs to no world at all? The loss of my family. The world of evil. All this despair. And you, too. Are you scared, Sinclair? He spoke to me. He had the eyes of a person who saw through everything, and the attitude of someone who predicted this series of events. Yo, he wrote the book on it. He didn't even wait for me to reply, like he knew what I was going to say. One day, you'll break it all together and soar. And I wish to see you completely bare. Oh my, that's a little forward, Demian. Don't you think? He responded as if he already knew the answer I was hesitating on. Although his words seem to radiate warmth. Bro. Demian's putting the moves on Sinclair. I felt a certain chill, like biting into the cold insides of a half-cooked turkey. I couldn't help but fall unconscious again. I didn't process anything except for the part where Demian hit on us. Although I think that was pretty much the main thing that happened. One wave, okay. 
Bone Blast, a Just Shell. Dude, we're going to get Bone Blasted by this guy. He is really going hard on Rodia, too. Um, what is that? 3 plus 5? That is so not worth it. Best Bestie? He's a homie? I mean, he's... <laughs> His only competition is Cromer, and he wins that one by a landslide. Who are you targeting? Oh, of course. This guy's a jerk. Um, Ryoshu. Who do I want to clash with? You're not taking a lot of damage from Quake Rounds. I might do that, then. But we'll still have Quake Rounds Clash. And then your boy Sinclair... Doesn't really do a whole lot of damage to this everything there of an Inquisitor. So maybe we just have him... Bully this guy a little bit. Glad I wasn't the only one who thought there might have been something between Sinclair and Demian, especially when they kept glancing. Oh, yeah, when he blushed looking out the window, that got me feeling some type of way, dude. They are the homiest of homies. Please, please spare Rodia. Don't do this. Don't do this! Demian X sing <laughs> Bro having a romance with his own book. <laughs> oh no. Our rolls were uh not as good as I was hoping. That's for sure. Okay, this guy's staggered. This guy's using scary moves. We got this. Uh, still don't use that, though. Hopeless. Struggling. Dominating. Alright, get in there. You. Hopeless. The fuck? Why is this guy so strong? Neutral? Yeah, I'll take a neutral. Okay, and then... Uh, maybe I do use this. Yeah, we're dominating. It's worth it. Okay, get in there. Thank you! Go, Sinclair! Rupture this dude! Nine. <laughs> that was pitiful. Nine damage. That was nice though. Good job, Ryoshu. Okay. Uh, he's got counter on him. Why? Why? He has one speed, which means I can fight him with whoever I want. Let's see, you have 121, 25, 70. Rody is low on health. Okay. You fight that dude you can you win this yeah I think you can kill this guy and then everyone else we just have defend I guess because I do not want to trigger that counter die dude on the bottom is pretty easy to kill yeah he should be gone after this one slash series takes after a skill that hits does this trigger multiple times or just once it's multiple times right I don't think I want to risk that. Maybe I'll try it with Don just to test. Okay. Go. Yeah, this should finish him. Nice. Wow, Ryoshu, you won those? Okay, she gets countered on. She's fatal to that damage type. Oh, he doesn't get multiple counters. Okay, then I should have just had everyone go all out on this guy. Neutral dominating. Give me the dominating. Neutral. 
favored. I'll take a favored. Dominating? Uh, that seems risky, but I'll try it. Yeah, sure. Get in there, everyone. If only defense power down lasted more than one turn. Bro, Sinclair, why? Bleed? At least we got bleed on him. Not a lot. Okay, what are you doing? So, you are dominating. If you hit him, you get countered against. Go. Uh, this might be a classic example of Ryoshu staggers herself. Yep. <laughs> yep. Stagger plus too. She got double staggered. Isn't that something? And of course Tremor does jack shit. Alright. Full damage. Do I even care about using egos? We could. Maybe we just throw some egos in for fun. Is that really the only one I can use? You're kidding. Okay. Go. Tails, please. Thank you. 94. Cool. Somehow we made it through. Please tell me there's one left. I don't know if my team's going to survive if there's two. Yes! Okay. Thank God. Just one more fight. Wait, is this a new one? The flashbacks to a ruin that ravaged Sinclair's life in, in a storm come to an end. Cromer is the only one with feelings to show and that is an uncontainable satisfaction. What a fucking... She is irredeemable at this point. Alright, let's go. Even if she does have an interesting hairdo. Yo, Cromer identity Sinclair when? Oh no. Oh no. Not these guys. They're... Oh. You're kidding me. Those snakes, they won't even die. I could have sworn I finished it, but it was still standing, flicking its tongue. She is very hateable. Is it some kind of last stand or what? Like you don't have to be alive to show endurance like that? How do dead things even stand their ground and fight to their last? They creep me out so much I can't even. Maybe they'd be tolerable if they weren't snakes. Okay, so we gotta go one at a time here. Dominating. Rodia's dead the second she gets poisoned. They weren't too bad? Uh, we'll find out. Oh, they are the smaller ones. Rodia, Russian mommy, no. What the fuck? <laughs> is that what Rodia is to you? Oh, wait. Uh-uh, he's going poison mode now. Lose 6 HP, apply 5 bleed to self next turn. Inflict 3 poison. Oh wait, but they are fragile. Well, I know who's not clashing with those guys. And... Who can? Don has the most health by far. So you clash with you. Mm. Might have you do this. Sinclair? 
Is this worth the risk? Dawn definitely should be the one clashing. Okay, get in there. Dude, all my homies hate Cromer. Yeah, <laughs> if anyone likes Cromer, I fear for their sanity. Okay. Come on, Rodia. Nice. Bro, really? Couldn't even hit a heads on that. Okay, he's staggered. These two are still not poisonous, thankfully. Alright. Rodia, clash with this guy. You clash with this guy. Okay, you can Ish afford to do this? Yeah, whatever. We're going deep on a summon that's Sinclair. Uh, yes, Sinclair in Cromer's identity would be balls to the wall crazy. Yeah, that would be pretty fucking cool. <laughs> and you know, it's not technically Cromer. <laughs> so we're fine. There's no moral ambiguity to it at all. Okay, that's a lot of poison on Ish. Heads, please. Thank you. Okay. Poison kills. He dies to poison here. 2 times 9, that's enough to kill. This guy, uh, he got rotting skin. How? How? When? What? Okay, as usual, Rodia has to clash with this guy. Dawn is dominating. Let's see, Ishmael. Okay, I don't want Ishmael getting staggered. Ishmael is also dominating. I think Sinclair could afford this. He doesn't even have to hit him. He just has to win the clashes. Not even win the clashes. He just has to clash. Yeah, that'll be fine. Now, who is not being defended against? You. Go for it. Thank you. And a nice. Uh-oh. Rodia's dead. Um, this doesn't bode well for Ishmael either. That dude killed himself. No! Ryoshu! We got one of them. Uh, Ishmael, we gotta protect her. We gotta protect Ishmael. Okay, Dawn can tank that. I cast... Sinclair on the wriggling beast and you're oh you're not fast enough oh no oh no you are but I don't want to break this arm I guess we could well that works yeah now everything's clashing and Ish can survive all right go Come on, Don. This wouldn't be so bad of a fight if we didn't just do six other fights. <laughs> Alright, that's a stagger. Nice. Uh, okay. You. This guy's just afraid of getting staggered. You have 203 health. Should I just go hard on this guy? 
He has bleed though. Maybe I go hard on both these guys. Get in there. Nice heads. Big damage. Part broken. Come on, Sinclair. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, they also self apply bleed. So that helps. Um, we are looking a little low on health. We have a lot of pride because I guess. Wait, yeah, with Faust dead and Rodia dead, we are not using as much pride as we want. So close. Let's see. <laughs> we'll see. That's overkill. Uh, you can clash with this guy. You're clashing with this guy. You're clashing with this guy. Does that work? I think that works. Okay, go. Oop. Not great. Alright, Ryoshu might be dead soon. <laughs> This guy should also die soon, hopefully, maybe? Yeah, okay. The bleed got him. Oh, and Dawn heals from this if she... Yes, if she hits heads, she heals. Thank you, Dawn. We are so close. Fatal damage. Let's go. She heals half the damage she deals with this, which means 40 HP. Nice. Okay, now we just have to do 200 damage to this guy and protect Ryoshu. We got this. Go. Wait, does he not even have the poison passive? He doesn't. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, it's over for this guy. His snakeskin's gone. Okay. Get in there. Come on, Ishmael. You could have spared some slightly better rolls. Don did it, though. Whoo! And that's a checkpoint. Thank God, dude. Thank God we did it. That was scary. Dude, when that battle opened, I was fearing for my life. The flashbacks to a ruin that ravaged Sinclair's life is in a storm come to an end. What is that? What is this? Okay, boss time. Final boss of the dungeon. Are we ready? Four hours in, and we're at the final boss. All right. Let's go with Old Reliable. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need some luck, dude. Well, Sinclair, were you able to find an answer in your heart's path? Cromer. <laughs> Don't give me that look. It's not even time yet. You're making me want to kill you. Oh, no, no. I should abstain. I can't let immediate entertainment distract me from the more important things. Sinclair, the only way to retrieve a golden bow that's begun to resonate is... I know. Even if it weren't for our mission, I'd still tear that bitch to pieces and drink up her remains. 
that's I mean the drinking part <laughs> is a little gross Sinclair oh, oh Sinclair when did you learn to act so tough that's not like you at all what a riot Still, well, I guess you've made some friends since then. Blood for the blood god. You won't run away this time, will you? Blood oh, shit, we got a blood chant going. <laughs> curb stomper? God, I hope we can. I hope we curb stomper. Oh, it's just Cromer. She's a Teth Abno? Wait, what the fuck? Cromer is an abnormality? I don't really feel like writing logs, but I will if I have to. I haven't fought Cromer before or seen how Encorp's troops fight, but from what I could tell, she probably knows how to use a sword. She always carried one with her. As for her looks, none too different from what I remember except a little taller, and that disorienting laughter. Uh, can I stop here? None of this helps. <laughs> the fucking comment that's like useless commentary. No, yeah, the music's great. It's it's Millie, right? Okay, moment of silence. Oh, wait. <laughs> Classic text. Oh, that's the lyrics? So it you can sing along. Much power. <laughs> oh, I was way too fast. I think. I don't even know what she's saying anymore. Yeah, the text like Ruina. If only we could be forever naive and pure. <laughs> Am I helping you enjoy it? If you have collected three or more assigned, Sinclair gains one attack power up and two protection every- I am so glad I brought Sinclair to this. I'm so glad he's on my team. Turn start. If the unit has bleed or burn, heal 15% of max HP and gain three attack power up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Bleed is going to be our downfall here. Or wait, the unit like her, right? Oh no. She inflicts nails. 675. Body is the only part. Wish I would have known he got buffed for the last fight. Apparently it only happens if you collect all three signs though. But yeah, that's pretty nice. One attack power up? That's solid, dude. Okay, so if I use this and put bleed on her, she recovers HP. Neutral. Energy cycle. Uh, the odds of winning that are so low. What if I use you? Dominating. Yes, please. Okay. If only Sinclair could clash with that attack power up. And he gets to protect every turn. That's so nice. That's 20% less damage. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. You know what I meant. She better not summon friends. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Ew, chill. <laughs> This music is super relaxing. I could fall asleep to this. Go, Sinclair! Claim her bones! Oh, fuck. He applies bleed. Oh, well. She's getting health back. The gripping. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's gonna start the gripping. Sin skewering nail. You're nothing. On evade deals 5 SP damage. Holy shit. She just verbally abuses you.
struggling. Favored. Struggling. All right, get in there. You're living for the angst. <laughs> yes, Sinclair. You're not nothing. Oh, she just keeps gaining speed dice. The grip is scary as hell. What does it do? Staggered for this turn, take 100% damage? Holy shit. Holy shit, that grip is scary. Wait, what the fuck? So that's what gazes into the target for the next turn means? It means they're just staggered. Uh, at least everyone's fast enough to redirect. Tight grip. You had a nightmare of Cromer? Is that real? Legitimately, Cod? Real nightmare. Staggered and double damage? Yeah, that's kind of fucked. So Faust dies if we let if we let Cromer grip her. <laughs> it's a neutral? I feel like this should be higher than neutral. That should definitely be higher than neutral. She uses scary moves too. Yeah, four dice on that. Alright, let's see how it goes. <laughs> you had a dream. Cromer was there. <laughs> it was a day ago. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Don. Oh no, Don. No! Stop! 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 How does she keep rolling heads? How? She just keeps barely out rolling me. What is that? What is that? Stop! And uh, there goes Ishmael. Bro, she's doing it again. She's doing the thing where she just barely out rolls me again. She's definitely cheating. What the fuck? Three staggers in one turn? Who's being gazed? Nobody? She didn't use it this time? Okay. Oh, she hates Sinclair. Uh, I think we protect Ishmael here, because Sinclair's taking 20% less damage. Look at that grip. <laughs> Can I not? Dude, she's just rolling stupid. Can I restart this fight? <laughs> 14 damage. Love that. Purify always rolls stupid. Yeah, can we stop that? She's gripping him! Stop! <laughs> Not again! She gripped him! This time he's getting gazed at. Hopeless? What the fuck? How is that hopeless? Hello? She's getting one attack power up. I shall claim your life. Clash lose user... Oh! <gasps> Wait, but I'm not fast enough with anyone. No. I'm not fast enough. Only only Ish has her ego. Oh, that means Sinclair is getting fucking targeted by that. That is so unfortunate. Can I just start over? <laughs> okay, we get it. This fight fucking sucks. It is literally hopeless. You could? Well, maybe we start over after we lose. She said I'm nothing. I need an adult. Good thing we got a checkpoint. Yeah, thank God. I cannot win a clash to save my life. Literally. It would save my life to win these clashes.
stop. Mm. My poor boy. <laughs> St. Clair. <laughs> Canon ending. <laughs> Canon ending, St. Clair dies. <laughs> Does she use the thing again? No, of course not. The fuck is that? Accept the pain, deal and take 100% more damage. Oh. Oh. Wait, she she nerfed herself. <laughs> she nerfed herself. Hello? Is that really okay? You really don't mind? Get in there. Nerfed until she does 150 damage. Not if we win the clash. Like that. Bro, her die didn't even finish rolling. Attack power down. Thank you. I don't know. It's working for me. We are so close to that stagger. Okay. Oh, and of course she's gonna gaze at someone now. Okay. Clash. Struggling again? Stop struggling! <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, gaze at Dawn. She's into that. Neutral? Neutral doesn't sound good. Okay. Get in there. Thank you. Thank you. Please roll ahead. Please roll ahead. Thank you. Go Dawn. Yes. You can't wait for chapter four. I don't know, man. I can. Go. Stagger her. Come on! That She's past the stagger bar. Why is she not staggered? There we go. There we go. There we go. She's dead. We kill her now. Hexnail. Honestly, we could even overcharge, but I think I'd rather Hexnail. 350% versus 400. Oh, but overcharge is ego. Wait, I kind of want to save Hexnail, actually, though. Hmm. Let's see, what's this again? 6 to 12, this is... F wait. 16 to 26. Okay, yeah, no, I go this. Go. 44 damage. 36 damage. Come on, Faust! Overcharge kill! Go finish it! 15! She has 15 health! Okay, here's what we do. Fucking Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Who, dude, who even clashes? Drago, thank you for the follow. Who even clashes? I don't believe in clashing. Clashing is not the true ego. Memes are the true ego. Kill her. Go! Come on, Rogia. Yeah! Yeah! What? One, eight, wait, why is she still alive? <laughs> why is she still alive? Hold up. Why is she not dead? Why isn't she dead? <laughs> uh, so yeah, about restarting. About restarting. <laughs> is it still like, it's not too late for that, right? What do you mean? Re she's the one who deserves retribution. Oh, fuck me. Okay, well, Ishmael's dead. Cutscene? The sinners were fatigued and damaged, some already dead. So true, so true. As opposed to us, Cromer still stands triumphantly.
She reaches for the inside of Sinclair's coat in what seems like a declaration of his fate. Dude, Sinclair's dead. <laughs> Sinclair's already dead. He died first. Now then, it's time, Sinclair. I'll be taking the second coin. Your last chance. Why are you doing this to me? Why me? Sinclair. Do you want to know why I gave you back the basement key when you asked? Listen close. It's not because I'd made my discovery or baked a copy of it. It's because you were my key. You see, I happen to know of a way to take a peek at the futures that might come true. I saw one among them where you and I travel from nest to nest, slaughtering heretics together all around the city. I need this identity. I need this identity, dude. Holy shit, he's so cool. Slaughtering heretics. Even though you were raised by heretics bearing revolting metal bodies, part of you still felt disgusted by them. Funny, isn't it? You would stab them in the head with your halberd? D don't you lie to me! While I smash their heads with a hammer! Stop it! <laughs> in that world, you looked like the freest person in the universe, transcending everything. No! You're lying! Whether I'm lying or not, Cromer suddenly cracked a wry laugh and stopped moving. The golden bow. The golden bow on the altar resonated with her cackle and began to glow brighter. Ah, fuck. Phase two, huh? Then. Ah, it's begun. At last, my final grudge will be fulfilled. A massive flesh engulfs her lower half. From the hideous organic growth, bundles of ambiguous appendages stretch outward in countless numbers. As if desire and madness were made manifest. Come, Sinclair. Ew, she turned into one of the fucking lust beasts. Rip me up and chew me down. If you can, that is. Um... Mm, can I say no thanks? I have three people left and one of them is staggered. <laughs> this is getting sus. Banger alert. Who's the banger? <laughs> Sussus Cromogus. Yeah, I don't think we win. Appreciate the music? Okay. I'll give it like 15 seconds. Crank that volume up. Uh, we'll, we'll hear it. We'll hear it when we do this fight a second time. <laughs> I'll turn it up a little for you. How's that? Okay, anyway, beat her up. Come on, Don. Come on, Don. Wait, I didn't read her passives or anything. the fuck is a protoplast? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm, so innocent flutters sucks. Noble purific- okay, that sucks. That's a four with three plus fours on them. Honorable grip. Oh shit. Yo, the drop though? If the t unit has bleed or burn, heal max HP and gain attack power. Okay, so we don't want to use bleed or burn. Starting with turn three becomes ecstatic every two turns. Um, it's the same. Okay. All the mods' physical resistances change to fatal? What? 
Oh, nice! Okay, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> Faust is getting hard targeted. Okay, so it seems like the goal here is to beat phase one without losing a bunch of people. Struggling? We're big struggling. Stop. Thanks. <laughs> no, Rhodia. Question is if you even want bleed? Yeah. Because my team doesn't apply enough bleed, I think. <laughs> we get it. We get it. How many fucking attacks does she get? Okay, wait. The dawn heal? Uh-oh. That's a fucking mass attack. Please, Dawn. Please beat the mass attack. She gets infinite combo. That's illegal. That's illegal. Okay. Dawn. Win. Thank you. Yes, no mass attack. <laughs> ah, fuck. She got tails on the actual hit, though. I think we can beat this without leveling. We just uh, need better RNG. And we need Sinclair to not die. Had my first ego lose in this fight? Bro. That was almost us. Just now. <laughs> uh, please stop bullying Faust. Please leave Rodia alone too. Oh, Rodia's dead. Rodia's dead. Uh, <laughs> it's so over. It's so over. Go! The Don Solo. Go, Don Solo! Yeah, we got so unlucky in that first phase. Please! <gasps> Stagger? What? She's... She's staggered! She shouldn't be able to attack! Faust, no! Oh, it's just that part. It's just her arm. We staggered her right arm. She has so many parts. Oh, wait. Okay. So if we have more people, maybe we'd be luckier. We'd be better off. Alright, well, ripped on. First ever loss in a dungeon. <sighs> She's very good at lowering sanity too. Yeah, that part... Can't say I'm a fan. Can't say I'm a huge fan of that. Okay. Again. What? No. Go back to the checkpoint. Two checkpoint. Thank you. Again. So if I used a different team, would I have to start from the beginning? Or could I pick up where I left off? I did good though. <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> Nuzlocke challenge failed. Yeah, now I have to delete all my identities. That's so unlucky. Ooh. It's this time of the year. Happy Christmas, everyone. Deathless Dark Souls run challenge failed. Yeah, there's a reason I don't attempt those. Okay, wait. You have a chance. You have a chance. Anybody inflicting bleed? No? Nice. Okay. You went till all your people were gone? Eh. Yeah, I don't have enough evenly leveled people for that. You said a prayer and just kept it <laughs> So you didn't even pick the clashes? Interesting. 
Dude, Nuzlocke Ruina sounds like a nightmare. It was hard enough just playing normal Ruina. Thank you. Go, Don. Heads, please. Thank you. Okay. Look at those better rolls than last time. Okay. Who do we want to get gazed? Maybe Dawn. I'll let Dawn get gazed. You just hope you high roll on full stop, wouldn't you? <laughs> Dude, ranged pages. She's blunt and effective. How can you tell? Oh, her body is. And lust and effective. And she has no weaknesses. There's no fucking weaknesses. Okay. Neutral here? Worth a shot, I guess. You. Hmm. I kind of want to hit with the first die on this to weaken her. And then Faust. Alright. Worth a shot. Not so great. Not so great. She got lucky with those. Oh. Slow motion three damage though. What the fuck? Stop rolling good. I wanted that attack power down. I wanted it so bad. Are the Library of Ruina songs on Spotify? Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> we could use Corrosion. Doesn't seem like a great idea, though. Um, struggling, favored, hopeless. Go for that favored. In fact, maybe I go you against Purify. This seems optimal. Those stupid purifies. Yeah, we'll deal with both of those. Neutral? Okay. And Rhodia totally loses this. She's gonna get a lot of nails after this. Oh, yep. That's a stagger for her. We did kind of just sacrifice Rodia. Holy shit, she almost outrolled Stag Harpoon. What an asshole. That's unbelievable. She came so fucking close to that. Did you see that? She got every single heads. If I didn't use Ego, that would have not ended well. She's doing it again. Stop that. Yeah, why does Purify roll so insanely high? Okay. Gazing. Dawn again. Gaze at Dawn. Alright. It's a 3 plus 8. I can beat that. Neutral? Neutral? Favored. Neutral. It's worth a shot, right? Hopeless? Seriously? Oh, but for some reason, Faust is dominating. Wait, who's not clashing? You. Okay, why did I make... Sinclair clash with that. Don't clash with that, Sinclair. Cromer is a head-fearing association member. What is? What's... Why? What, huh? What does that explain? Uh... 
I don't like this. That's why her rolls are so high. Oh. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> Hold up. Who isn't clashing still? Why are you still fucking clashing with the wrong thing? I need you to clash with that. Hello? It made Dawn unclash? What is up with this targeting system? Gotta believe in the head to get high rolls? I can't say that'll ever be me. I should save Faust's ego. Yeah. Because then when she uses the thing that staggers her, I can use Faust's ego. Thank you, Dual Strike! You're the best! Okay. Compulsion really working against me here. They made the good targeting in Ruina worse in almost every way. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, if the tab button was still a thing, that would be pretty nice. Clash lose user becomes staggered. Okay. Here it comes. Who do we use? That is a 12 plus 5. What is this roll? 15 plus 13. What is this roll? Okay. Uh, if I inflict bleed, she heals, though. I think it's worth it, though. Oh, but my sanity's so low, I won't roll heads. Mobile game UI? Yes. Exactly. You got this. You got this, Faust. We're getting gripped real hard. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully we're just getting a little gripped. Just mild grippage going on. Hopeless. Hopeless. Why is she getting two attack power up? That sucks. Dominating. Wait. Dominate this one then. And then, oh, you're struggling. And the shit that makes you lose harder is going to trigger. Maybe I just let her hit Dawn with this. But she does 100% extra damage to Dawn. 100% extra damage. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Sinclair, you clash with this. Bro, someone explain to me why that shit was not clashing. So this is the only one that's not clashing. Ugh. Purify kills someone almost? Yeah, that's not a good idea. Sin Skewering Nail. I guess my only real option is to redirect it with you. Wait, can I redirect this? No. No, I can't force her to clash with a defense die. Okay, well, if I switch these... Does that? It doesn't seem like it helps us. Yeah, okay. This is the path of least resistance. Get in there. Rodia, no! Yes, Rodia! Yes, Rodia! You beast! Bro, her rolls are insane! <laughs> How do you like her distortion? She just turns into one of the big fucking lust generic abno enemies. Uh, compulsion really working against me here. And that's a stagger for Ishmael. What? Wait, that one was automatic. That one, that one, <laughs> that scared me. That scared the hell out of me. That one, it was on auto flip. <laughs> The animation starts for her first. That's so terrifying. Okay. She's the main character.
Can we do enough damage here? I don't think so. Oh, not with those rolls. Not with these rolls. Oh, those are such terrible rolls. Dude. And she's gazing again. Why is she always doing that? Why you always gotta gaze? Struggling? Eh, it's worth an attempt. Bro. Dude. 3 plus 8. Okay, Faust can definitely win one of these. Probably. Definitely, probably. L rolls. Yeah. For real. Um... I might go Sinclair here. Ego? Why is this not clashing? Hello? Or was it? I couldn't tell. <laughs> Ugh. 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 We gotta save Ego for, save for phase two. Okay. Get in there. Sinclair! Heads, please! Thank you! My boy. That's my son. As long as he survives. Look, 68 damage. I'm just saying he was one off. Mm. Doesn't feel good to lose by one. Mm, that doesn't feel good either, though. Stop gripping Faust. That's fucking weird. Mm. Wait, I thought she was supposed to grip Donkey. Did I target that wrong? Yeah, Faust got gripped hard. Okay, we do still have to clash. Rhodia's in bad shape. Everyone's in bad shape. Holy shit, we're too slow. Faust is gonna die. Faust is gonna die because we're too slow. She's gonna use two fucking- Not again. Not again. Hold on. This is our only option. Now, the odds are so bad there. But Faust. But Faust. We have to protect Faust. Even at the cost of Don's life. Wrong one. Okay. Now we just hope that these don't kill Faust. Get in there. God, Rhodia's health. Dude, your nothing didn't even get to roll. <laughs> What's that about? Come on, do big damage, please. <laughs> it's still spinning. 57. Okay, not bad. Come on, Don. Oh, that was a bad roll. Oh, that was another bad roll. Don stagger time. Eee, she's dead. How the fuck did that do so much damage? Now nah, this is insane. This is ridiculous. Stop. Stop. The music heavenly? <laughs> if only the music was all we had to worry about. The SP damage is hella inconvenient too. Do I just stagger Rhodia? Faust. You are struggling. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good either. None of this is good. We're in such bad shape for phase two. Who's she targeting? Rhodia. 
I think Rodia dies here. Bruh. Faust, why are you not clashing? Sometimes I don't understand how the clashing works here. So we could technically have Ish take this, but that seems like a bad idea. Go. Mm -hmm. Stop gripping Rodia, please. We're gonna have three people by phase two again. Ah, uh, we lost that. Okay, come on. <sighs> okay, that's phase two started. But Rodia's maybe dead. She's not dead! She's not dead! Okay, we're in a slightly better position than the first time. Now, is she using a mass attack? No. She is going after Rodia with every die, and we are not fast enough to intercept it. That's god awful. Do we just sacrifice Rodia? We might have to. Right arm or maw? The maw has more weaknesses. I think we just go arm though, right? What if I use that? I should save that for when we actually need it. Hanging on by a thread. Yeah, I don't think this is going to end well. Wait, I can actually check the damage, right? Oh, it's not anything special. Oh? That one's weak to green. Okay, go. Rip Rodia. Oh, she has a bunch of fragile. Wait, that's already a stagger for the arm. Bro, why she got more body parts? That seems unfair. How many body parts does she need? And which of these is using a mass attack? None of them? Okay. She's using that shit twice? On Faust both times? Favored. Go for it. Hopeless? Uh oh. Um. 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 The Sinclair tank? <laughs> Break the arm, maybe? I don't know! Go! <laughs> what the fuck was that? How did Faust die? What happened? Was that bleed? Did bleed kill her? I thought Faust had plenty of health left. What happened to her? <laughs> Nah, dude, that's nasty. And, uh, compulsion is working against us here. Warp Faust destined for death. Everyone's destined for death here. Do we just have to redo it until we, we get perfect RNG? All right, Ish is staggered, maybe even dead. Yep, Ish is dead. It's just Sinclair left now. <laughs> the boy. Go Sinclair. What level is your team? 25. Okay, there's nothing I can do about bleed though, because not doing anything for a turn doesn't make it go away. 
And uh, it's over for Sinclair. It's over. It's over. Sinclair, no. <laughs> yeah, I know about the passive hawk. I've been intentionally avoiding my bleed skills unless I absolutely have to use them. To checkpoint. Again. <laughs> Toss me back in. Put me in, coach. Uh, are we gonna have to, like, postpone this for another time? Let's see. Third time's the charm, right? We just gotta pray for that RNG. Stop whistling. Dude, I got such bad starting... I'm not doing a 24 hours dream. That's not happening. Uh, <laughs> favored? Neutral? Unopposed? What the fuck is this? Why does she have to resist everything? Okay, wait. Catch breath. Uh, I mean, I don't really have a choice, do I? I can't use Claim Their Bones because it puts bleed on her. So we just poke. Dude, we already started with a shitty roll. I'm kind of feeling the need for a break. <laughs> her rolls are stupid. Do you see this? She has that. Yes, yeah, she really does. Look at those rolls. I have not won a single clash so far. And then she takes half damage from Blunt. Alright, I want I want out now. <laughs> she was the main character all along. That's so fucked up. Just give me my Sinclair Cromer identity so that I can use it against her. And then we'll be fine. Put me back at the checkpoint. Or wait, can I just redo this? Hold up. Do these guys... They're back at max health? Hold up, you can just give up and restart it? No way! That's broken! So I don't have to go all the way back to the checkpoint. I can just throw in the towel whenever I want. No way, I can lose on my terms? No, I had no idea. I've never had to redo something in a dungeon. <laughs> Clearly, this is not the ideal team for this fight. Nice. Alright, get in there. This is a better start. Alright, yeah, just keep up this energy for the rest of the fight, Chromer. <laughs> no more bullshit rolls. I have so many good ego gifts too. All right, she's doing the gaze thing. Go, Don. Flawless first turn. Yeah, this is what I need. I just, I need this, but for the rest of the fight. <laughs> Slash series. And all right, go for it. Go. Come on. Thank you. There are Cromer simps. Who? Where? What? Who hurt them? <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. 
this was the RNG I needed my whole life, dude. Uh, alright, Don's gonna have to eat a hit. Which one is the safest? Probably that. Inflict six bleed. Uh, six bleed's a lot, though. One nails is a lot, too, though. One nail or six bleed? Either way, it sucks. Alright, Rodia. In their defense, they said insane hot woman. Oh. So yeah, they're beyond help. Just give up on them, Cod. Six bleed. Six bleed or nails? Probably the bleed, I think. Go. Oh, bad roll. Oh? Oh? Wait, lucky for me though? Hey, yo, three tails? Report them to the government, Cod. Nice. Bro, phase one's hard enough. Why is there a second phase? Perfect ru Don't say that. You're gonna fucking jinx me, my guy. Yeah, at least Don has good intentions, right? Ryoshu's just scary. Okay, we got curse on her. Please don't kill. Thank you. This wouldn't be happening if you use sloth. That sounds like a fucking lie to me. Have you done this fight, Seiya? Did you use sloth? How did that go? What's she using? Okay, there's gaze. I'm going to don the gaze again. Okay. Neutral. Favored neutral. Yeah, give me that. I'm gonna save ego. Neutral? Yeah, I don't want to risk that. Neutral. Okay, these are all bad clashes. This is not good anymore. The first time you won, you did use pride, but sloth, ugh, sloth can definitely do it. All right, sure. To be fair, Gregor is pretty good with the the self heal that he has. Go. Come on, Rodia! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Don! <laughs> oh. Oh? Wait! Perfect run? The fabled perfect run? Oh. So much for Faust. Clash lose user becomes staggered. Okay, here it comes. How y'all struggling? How are you struggling against this? Oh, it is a scary thing. Is it worth it even? Wait, Ish has the lowest stagger threshold. But also her fucking, her passive is gonna trigger. But if I, the only way I could use her ego is if I don't use Sinclair's. And I need Sinclair. Wait. Wait. Wait, I have an idea. Okay, so this is guaranteed to outroll this, right? Wait. You better not be. Okay, dominating. Yes, guaranteed. Tried to go to defense when you were struggling if you could afford to. 
Well, the problem with going defense is that it means Dawn has to eat Purify. And I can't let Dawn eat Purify. So what I'm going to do... Sinclair the Purify. Neutral? Okay, you're clashing. You're clashing. You're neutral. You're dominating. Please. Do it. <laughs> and Rodia is staggered. Come on! Mmm! Now she's staggered, right? Right? Okay, the bleed is going to work against us a little bit. But it is what it is. Yeah, she's staggered. <sighs> okay. Now I'm going to have to save my ego. More wrath would be nice. Go. Unlucky. Come on, man. Okay, we got the stagger threshold on the body, though. People on Twitter... Okay... I wouldn't trust people on Twitter, to be fair. Okay, she's accepting the pain now. So now we just have to win. We just have to clash good. I hate that neutral doesn't count. Wait, okay, I'm using you. I know it's struggling, but I need the Wrath. Quake rounds? How is this neutral? This should be way above neutral. Rodia's favored here? Okay. Dominating. Favored. She's getting gripped. Oh, I don't want her to get gripped, though. So you get in there. I should get more purple too. Struggling. That's not good for Dawn, but it's good for everyone else. Go. All right, no more evade dice. Thank you. Get in there, Sinclair. Thank you. Are we gonna make it to phase two with everyone alive? Oh, <gasps> Rodia, you did it. You won that clash. Okay. I just have to beat these in clashes. Okay. Purify, it's worth to just use ego against. You are dominating, that's perfect. You're neutral. We're just gonna hope. Go! The perfect run is real! We still have another phase, though. <laughs> All you gotta do is fish for RNG. <laughs> That's what we've learned today. At least for phase one. Phase two could totally fuck us. Did Cromer always have a nail through her chest? Or is that when she used Face the Pain?
Yes! Thank you, Compulsion. For once, Compulsion's being useful in a boss fight. I'm gonna have no bullets left, though. For phase two. That was perfect. Wait, that was literally... It cannot get any better than that for phase one. Okay. And now, we go in on them. Chromer, you piece of shit. Unopposed. Who are you targeting? Oh, that's Dawn. Okay. Dawn clash with that guy. You got phase two? Believe in the heart of the sinners? <laughs> sinners! Carry me to victory! Okay, wait. So you're clashing against Overcharge? I think that's a good clash. Quake rounds. I think we can win that. Okay. Get in there. Second wave theme. Everyone alive edition. Ooh, bad RNG. Better RNG. Almost out of bullets. Not good. Okay, the overcharge hard carry. You're telling me she's not weak to blunt in phase two either. Okay. What's she using? That shit. Okay. Alright, this BGM is fire. I'll go protoplast on her. So I cannot use Rhodia's ego because it applies bleed and burn. Like one applies bleed, one applies burn. Isn't that lovely? I could go quake rounds here. It is dominating. And then, yeah, we go these guys and we save our ego for when we have an actual really scary clash. Chromers, that is going kind of far, you think, Squeak? Those are big words. So even if you don't have enough ammo, you still use the other dice when you use ammo skills, which is nice. Because you can win clashes at least with it. Stagger? Oh! <gasps> Stagger! Okay. So now it's Maw and right arm time. Honorable grip, noble purification, noble purification, protoplast wings. She starts in a giant group to mur- She starts a giant group to murder whole towns after killing her classmates' parents? Fair points. <laughs> You raise a good argument. <laughs> Can you beat Protoplast? Yes. Dawn. Okay. Dawn is favored against this. I think I go Sinclair here. He's dominating. You. Pierce. Dominating. Okay. And then you hit that. Go! Thank you, Rhodia! Dual strike coming in clutch! Okay, we got some maw damage. Branch of knowledge. Heads. You really need ego for mass attack? Does. Would a mass attack target different parts of her body? Okay. Heads, please. Curse her. Thank you. 
perfect run. Oh, for hers. Oh, to counter her mass attack. Yeah. So I'm saving a little bit of ego here. I'll still have some left. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> no way, dude. Perfect run. Oh, my voice cracked. That's, <laughs> that's just how excited I am. All right, get her. Stagger that right arm, please. Good left arm damage. Oh, we didn't stagger the right arm. And now she's got five attacks coming out. No mass attacks, though? Interesting. Okay. And everyone's fast enough to redirect, so I can do literally whatever I want. In which case... If I use this, I won't have enough wrath for anything else, though. I could use that. And... Sinclair? These two can redirect. Okay. Rodia? Neutral, dominating, favored. Well, I gotta go for the dominating. Struggling. Favored. Okay. Um, com compulsion is gonna help her with protoplast wings. Dawn? You're just gonna have to kind of deal with it. Tank the flutters if you have to. Oh, she's getting staggered if she doesn't if she doesn't win these clashes though. Um it's fine. Go. Don't think about it. Stagger that left arm. Nice. Compulsion cannot lose. Thank you. That's another stagger on the right arm. Okay. Dude, this, <laughs> this is so different from the last couple runs. It's like night and day. It is completely different. That's how big of a difference early clashes make though. Like getting that, that momentum with sanity is such a huge deal. Oh, and Dawn doesn't even have to worry about losing clashes because we staggered her. Mass attack time. Cromer's getting fatigued. She'll expose a vulnerability soon. Hmm. Cancel that mass attack. We are guaranteed to win this clash. Yo, this is it. We got this. Okay, don't, don't bleed her now. All right, frog hat. All right, let me get it on. The mass attack is cool. Just let it through. No, squeak. <laughs> I don't want to let it through. What is a shot check? Hell no, I'm not letting this mass attack through. Go. <laughs> All right, part broken. There you go. Dude, Snag Harpoon literally couldn't have lost. Are you gonna do a pull stream for the new Inquisitors on the 9th? I mean, I'll probably stream for it. GG's, y'all. I'll probably stream my pulls or like my summons, whatever extractions, but I don't think I have like enough lunacy that it would be a big deal. Cromer is breathing heavily, perhaps as a side effect of the transformation. Her posture is unstable and her eyes are looking elsewhere. Yo, me? Unstable ass posture? With her focus disrupted, we might be able to land a critical strike. Wrath advantage! Yo! Wrath gang! Yes! 
Faust circles around Cromer's fleshy mass to disorient her. Soon enough, she let her guard down. Faust didn't miss the chance to deliver a devastating blow. That seemed pretty effective. A deep, indelible wound was left on Cromer's body. Could this be it? Cromer, the dreamer of human wholeness, is staggered. Let's go. Full ego. Everything. Uh. Everything. Why can't I use everything? <laughs> Let me use everything. Fine, Faust gets to use her ego then. Watch Cromer be an ego? Dude, having a Cromer ego on Sinclair would be pretty fun. Okay, I'm going for the Maw. First try! Definitely my first try. <laughs> Save the ego for phase three. I'm only using one. We'll be fine. Bro. <laughs> right at the end, she rolled the fucking tails. Don't tell me there's actually a phase three. Don't tell me there's actually a phase three. Come on, Faust. Delete her phase three. Why is she at one HP still? What's that? <laughs> What's that? That's a little scary. What's she doing with 1 HP? Break the Maw. Okay, Maw destroyed. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. She just killed all my characters for free? The fleshy hill exuded potent acid, melting Sinclair's legs. All the other sinners were being dissolved by the caustic secretion, too. After all that... He trips and hits the ground. No, perhaps I should say he was thrown off his feet. In spite of that, he still crawls toward Cromer. Yes, that's it. It hurts, doesn't it? You're filled with rage, aren't you? Accept it all. Welcome it with open arms. And watch me. Watch my glorious body, closer to the purest form of humanity than ever before. This flesh here. The sheer, unmatched strength of purity. Yeah, I don't know what Sinclair was gonna do with his legs. But he doesn't need them where he's going. Ah, Sinclair. Look at how human you are. You can become like me, too. Oh, you were... Sinclair, you were scared all along, weren't you? You lost your family, and you had to ride a bus with these strangers, forced to do things you didn't want. Poor Sinclair had to ride a bus. <laughs> you were scared, Sinclair, weren't you? You lost your family, and then you had to ride a bus. <laughs> Let me go back. Yeah, just bring his legs back, bro. You knew in your heart that you didn't belong there, right? Didn't you want to run? Didn't you want to quit it all? Am I wrong? I swear I... Join me, Sinclair. Don't avoid this. Embrace it. Complete my grudge. Say no, Sinclair. Fight it. Yeah, right? <laughs> Classist. The arm Sinclair was using to hold his weapon was growing limp by the second. He nevertheless continues in Cromer's direction. You must accept the pain. Only when we have transcended suffering itself can we be reborn. Bloat the flesh, spill the blood, adding on the most human things each second. To the purest world where the impurities plaguing the city of all folks have been filtered out. Mama. Papa. Sis. Sinclair vacantly mutters, looking at the faces of his now dead fellow sinners. He's the last one? Sinclair! I couldn't leave him like this. Sinclair! Listen to me! Listen to me, Sinclair! I'm embarrassed that it took me so long to take action, but it was better late than never. Fucking cope. <laughs> Act like the manager I am. I know you think a lot. I know there's a lot going on in your head that you can't share with others. That's how he was. Worried that he might be a burden, he constantly put his mind through doubts and ruminations, most of which he never let on about. He's chewed up many a thought in the form of guilt. My family died because of me. 
I said stuff I really shouldn't have. Exactly. It's all your fault. So embrace it. That's the way to become a holy reborn. It kind of bothers me that her face is cut off at the top. <laughs> I bet if you played it on the iPad, you could see her whole portrait. Follow me and rest in my grip. Don't do it, Sinclair. She got like a weird, nasty torso mouth. Don't listen to her. You have to see. Look at her. Observe her carefully. Alas, my voice didn't seem to reach him. Uh. Sinclair's weapon leaves his hand and lands on the ground. Yo, nasty as fuck, Ajax. <laughs> his advance for Kromer has stopped. Yep, looks like this is the end for us. No! <coughs> I hate that term. <coughs> You're killing me. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it to the end of chapter three. <laughs> Looks like this is the end for us. <laughs> the one who grips? It all makes sense now. She's the one who grips. She turns into a lust monster. And I... Yes, yeah, sure. You know what? You're probably not even wrong. I'm pretty sure, like, that's the lore accurate terminology for it. For her, her lower mouth. I can feel my body melting into the gr into the mound. I knew I'd die trying to play the proper manager sooner or later. But, Sinclair. I have to tell him more. I have to- t That wasn't supposed to be an innuendo. It's literally a mouth. It's literally a, a fucking mouth with teeth on it. I have to tell him that Kroger's spewing a heap of lies, threats, hypocrisy, and exaggeration. Can he not tell that she's a giant fucking nasty monster? Every nerve in my body is screaming that I shouldn't give up on him. Bro, Sinclair, <laughs> he, he just can't resist. He's like, I should call her. <laughs> Except, uh, first love is blind. Yeah, but I mean, is he... Uh, what about his second love, Demian? Think of Demian and be strong, Sinclair. Her normal form is fine. Yeah, aside from the part where she's a psychotic murderer, but everything else is fine. Every nerve in my body is screaming that I shouldn't give up on him. I can feel the burning pain of my melting body. Look, look closely. Sinclair. Not with your eyes, but with your heart. I screech at Sinclair. Scree! <laughs> Only then will you see what matters most. Only then will you see what matters most. Demi in the W, Demi in the W. Agreed. In that moment, someone quietly appeared. Demian! Oh, it is Demian and he has a scarf now! Oh, I love his scarf. And when you see the things that matter most, you won't have to stifle yourself with shallow threats or cheap tricks. Isn't that right, Sinclair? Demian! Oh my god. They got an actual fucking sprite for melting Sinclair. How do I unlock this? He moved with grace and airiness, as though he floated in the air. Holy fuck! Demian's a wizard! Wait, and he has the mark on him! New identity, zero speed? <laughs> that would be hilarious. He seemed lighter than anyone else, unbound by anything. Contrary to his impression of freedom from all worldly longings, an oppressive air seemed to accompany every step he took. And, with just a wave of his right arm. He is literally a god. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Stop. No, no. You're ruining the moment, Drago. <laughs> Cromer's upper body vanished in a clean cut. That was so cool. Who the fuck is Demian, though? He's, like, actually a god. He just shows up in his cute little blue scarf. Demian. About to make me act up, dude. <laughs> no! <laughs> Saiyan, no! 
He's the name of the book, so he has to be OP? That's true. That makes sense. Yeah. So all the book names are probably overpowered. The Demian. You've changed your own fate, Sinclair. Right now, you're neither a coward nor a hero. But you've still yet to let go of your fears completely. I've said it before, haven't I? When you fear someone. That's because... You gave them the power to have control over you. You don't think any of the other books can be used as a name? I mean, I wouldn't think that of Demian either, but... Stranger. Stranger could totally be a name. Odyssey could totally be a name. Metamorph... Okay, Metamorphosis probably isn't a name. <laughs> Metamorphosis probably wouldn't work. Um, me when I meet Divine Comedy... What if you just use the Italian name? What's it called again in Italian? I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, dude, the god Crime and Punishment? That's my favorite god. You gave them the power to have control over you. That's right. And I don't want anyone else to domineer over you. Only me. <laughs> Yo, this Demian guy, he actually came to claim his... <laughs> I'm not going to say the word. Which is why I got rid of that Cromer. Bro, he's getting rid of all of his romantic rivals. The man referred to as Demian then started to walk. He took airy steps as though he were embarking on a light trip. The world is about to head for a new birth. And only a few individuals can get there. <laughs> Seiya said it for me. Sinclair, you're one of them. No, don't take my Sinclair. I need him. Sinclair fainted before he could answer. Demian slowly made his way over to me. Cromer attempted to become a god, like those which people of the past were said to believe in. Sinclair almost became her stepping stone. In the end, though, one has to break an egg on their own. Cromer put in quite a bit of effort, doing this and that to create a throwback to the time when Sinclair lost his first coin is this an innuendo? What does losing a coin mean? Irreg irregardless of the fact that Christmas is still a while away. It's ironic that they resorted to creating false imagery, something they loathed so deeply. Don't you think so? What are you talking about? Who are you? A pleasure to meet you, Dante. So, you're the adult who will condition Sinclair at the moment. As for who I am, she just gave him two coins. Stop making it horny. I'm sorry. You guys made me like this. And for what I was talking about, you'll see in due time. I blame chat for everything. When Sinclair takes flight with unshakable faith in the power of the heart. Right. When he becomes one with beautiful stars. That is when I'll return. I don't even know what that means. Bro, he's speaking as difficult to understand as Bina. Yeah, it's Drago's fault. Look, he confessed to the crime. Bro, what's he talking about? When he takes flight with unshakable faith in the power of the heart, does this mean... Magical girl ego Sinclair? When he becomes one with beautiful stars? Knight of Despair Sinclair. Queen of Hate Sinclair. It's coming. I'm guaranteeing it. <laughs> that is when I'll return. Madoka Sinclair. Take good care of Sinclair until then, Dante. You... you can hear me? I can hear all sorts of chirps and trills, Dante. It's only natural that I hear your voice. Dude, I would die for a magical girl Sinclair too. Like, that would be actually, like, legitimately hype as fuck if they made magical girl Sinclair, no matter which magical girl it is. I would even take, um, the green one. I forgot her name. As always. What matters most is something you can't see or hear. I would die for Magical Girl anyone. Yeah, Wrath Girl. That one. No, I think Magical Girl Ego in general would be fucking nuts. It would be so cool. 
but especially on the male characters. The boy with the blue scarf vanished without notice. After that, the mounds began to melt away. They dissolve into mixtures of flesh and mud. Demi is some sort of god? Yeah, he has the same sign that Sinclair has. But yeah, uh, no fucking clue what his deal is. With them gone, a single golden bow appeared before me, spreading its warm light. Sinclair's world was gradually melting with the hills. I excruciatingly drag what's left of my upper body across the floor to reach Sinclair. He was still breathing. And so was I. I figured I should still be able to turn the clock. Thus, that means I'm still their manager, and I should act like one. Plus, as I learned in my dying moments, I have to strive to become a more sensible manager. With all that, I need to tell him. It might have been your fault, Sinclair. But that's okay, really. It's one small mistake. One anyone could make. Don't beat yourself up so much about it. I pat him on the back with my half-melted right arm. Okay, Dante can bring everyone else back. What's going to happen to Dante? Is he going to have to, like, have more body parts replaced with clocks? After seeing Magical Girl and Ozma rolling, something changed. It's, you know, nothing changed inside me. I'm perfectly normal. Don't worry about anything. When summer in Korea? What do you mean? Isn't it the... It's Northern Hemisphere, so it's... It's Northern Hemisphere summer. <laughs> I think they would do... They'd say it doesn't fit the theme. I mean, they did say it's not Christmas. Dante didn't even fight. Why is he even injured? Yeah, what happened to him? You mean for this game? Wait, I don't get it. The floor is acid. I got too much sunlight and now want... Stop. <laughs> I got no sunlight. No sun... I didn't touch any grass. I didn't get any sunlight. I pat him on the back with my half-melted right arm. Sinclair doesn't reply. To be truthful, trying to identify someone to blame all this on would be a never-ending endeavor. Well, at least Cromer's dead. From each of us going and carrying our sins onto the bus. To my loss of head and memory, accompanied by an involuntary appointment as the executive manager. At the root of all this, I might find no one but myself to blame. Staying bound by that fact, though, will only keep us from taking our next steps. We found him! I can hear multiple footsteps approaching our horribly incapacitated team. Virgilius must have figured we'd get into a mess, and called the after team to scoop us off the ground. This looks like the individual we seek. Do I inject it now? The others can be revived as long as this one lives. Focus all resources on restoring their body. I felt a jab in my shoulder, and then a strange sensation enveloped the parts of my body that had melted off. <gasps> He's growing his arms back? We were provided three HP ampules. Do I use all three on them? Keep an eye on the regeneration process and use them at your discretion. Lucky strap hangers. They're rolling in luxury thanks to having a color on their team. One with a friend in K-Corp at that, too. Dude, they're acting like Virgilius does jack shit for our team. Confirm. The voices around me start to fade. Sinclair's bawling lamentation dimly rings through the emptiness. Our third mission marked its sober end in dismal defeat. Why? What? We got the bow. What's the defeat? I beat Cromer. I beat both phases and it only took one try. One attempt. Even though we recovered the golden bow, we lost. On the other hand, the bus was more vibrant than usual, possibly out of everyone's attempts to disregard the depressing outcome. Does it look like we're in luxury? Yeah. Krober's dead. That's luxury enough. Technically Demian won, I guess. We did get the Demian hard carry. I will admit. I bought enough chicken kebabs for all of you to have one. So if anyone didn't get theirs, go and put your detective caps on by yourselves. This is an absolute win. Such curious cuisine. What is the intention of skewering chicken meat with a stick? 
You have a spear, Honglu. You should know. I may be familiar with this kind of dish. A kochi of the dock variety. For dying, we get one chicken kebab. Worth it. I'll take a chicken kebab. Where's mine, actually? A sweet smell. The kind Mephi likes. Stimulated, Karen revved the engine. Karen was humming another familiar tune. I could recognize the song this time. Silent Night! Happy Christmas, everyone! Karen, isn't Christmas still a long ways off? Um, nice grammar, Gregor. He doesn't speak English very good. Don't put a damper on Karen's fun, bug guy. If Karen feels like it's Christmas, then that's that. And this is this? But come on, I called you by your name for once. Well, why don't you settle the score by giving her a bus girly then? You know, tip for tat and all that. <sighs> Dude, you and me both, Jason. Virgilius was watching the scene unfold, leaving his food to cool and hardly taking a bite, even though he was the one who bought it all. Perhaps he's gone quiet because of Karen's song. It does come to mind that he said she was going through a tunnel. And then? I turned my gaze to Sinclair, who was awkwardly laughing amongst the other sinners. <clears throat> Doesn't Sinclair feel better now? You were shallow, Drago? Convenient for me because Sinclair was the male character that I liked the most at the start. <laughs> so I re-rolled and, and got him eventually. If we're going through a long tunnel, then what we do is wait for the morning to arrive, right? I feel like he kind of mixed metaphors there. Wait for morning to arrive in a long tunnel? <sighs> <laughs> what was that about, Dante? Drop the goofy poetry and have a kebab. Come on, say ah. Don't do that, Rodion. You're going to make me act up. Our manager has no mouth. The executive manager has no need for a mouth, as they're perfectly capable of commanding us without a word. Do keep that in mind. Golly, don't you ever get tired of licking their boots so clean, Otis? Oi, got more of this scran? It's peak. <laughs> no, Heathcliff. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> this scran is peak. <laughs> Sinclair and Rodion got good endings, but Gregor got kind of fucked up. I mean, Gregor got to confront his past, but I'm assuming Gregor's ending is not coming until we uh, we beat up Hermon. Bro. Bro. <laughs> hey, oh, BG. Give me a light. Glad I wouldn't know what that's short for. Even I know what that's short for. I thought about giving a speech to the sinners about how this fruitful yet unsuccessful mission changed my mindset. But I soon shelved the idea. I told Sinclair to not let a failure of the moment bind him, after all. Instead, I've resolved to make up for this less than ideal outcome on our next mission. May I have thine attention, Red? I mean, Sir Virgilius? What? I do believe I have acted with sufficient caution as you so hath warned. Thusly, if I may, would you allow me to lay claim upon a skewer? <laughs> She's asking permission. That's so cute. Dude, Don's so cute. Don will have a second chapter? He'll have to, yeah. I can't believe Yuri fucking died in chapter- I'm still not over that. That was so whack. Go right ahead. As Don Quixote's excited jubilation adds a layer of vigor to the already lively bus. The message I couldn't speak, but one I'm surely ha sure has been conveyed in one way or another, spreads between us. And so the morning came. <sighs> wow. A lot happened. A lot happened. That's a lot to process. That's a lot to process. <laughs> I still, like... Hold on. There's, like, a ton of fucking hair on my ground, and I decided now is the time to take it up. This was an awesome chapter. Oh, right. Sinclair song. Let me turn it up for you.
How's that? Is that too loud? Or is that good? Good? Okay. My boy, Sinclair. Sinclair. No, I was so glad that, first of all, we brought him. And second of all, we got all of the marks for him. I feel like that added to the experience. That he got his, like, crazy buff during the fight, too. Even though we did have to restart until we got perfect RNG. <laughs> Dude, chapter 3, I feel like blew the first two out of the water. Maybe it's just because I like Sinclair. <laughs> Look at his paid little smile. Chapter 1 was like tutorial. What even happened? It was mostly just feeding people to Mephistopheles and then Gregor's trauma. Gregor's trauma was interesting though, like the dungeon was interesting. But yeah, chapter 3 had way more impact. 2 had some funny memes, yeah. But 2 wasn't really like... Deep. 3-1-2. I think for the dungeons, I would definitely go 3 1 2. Yeah, Chapter 1 had like a really good dungeon story. Chapter 2's dungeon story was kind of underwhelming. But I liked the stuff leading up to the dungeon in Chapter 2. So it's hard to, hard to rank them. 3 was definitely the best, though. Now we wait months. Hell yeah. I can't wait for May. Yeah, you should totally... I, I highly recommend getting into Ruina Drago. It's a really fun game. And the story is pretty interesting, I guess. Look at that. Oh, who got MVP? Rodia. Who got second? Donkey. Faust pulling up third. Then Ishmael and Sinclair. Oh, Sinclair. <laughs> Sinclair did the worst out of the main team. Poor dude. Oh, let me turn the game audio back down. Okay. Was Chapter 2 even a dungeon? It was so fast. And there was like barely any Rhodia character development. It was just like, oh yeah, so uh, in her past she like killed someone and got in trouble for it because her friends were starving. It basically just introduced Sonya. Dude, I want them to bring Yuri back. Revive her, please. We got the EX rewards. Yay! And that's it. Chapter 3 is done. Oh, and my reward. Wait, my first reward. Chapter 2 had the undead robots and the people digging the tunnel, then Baba Yaga mode. It had cool abnormalities. Chapter 2 had really cool abnormalities. Can't wait to wait. Same. And there it is. We got him. We got him. My boy, look at him. He's so cool. He's so cool. Game's done. Yeah, no more content. Ran out. We're out of content. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Nothing to do now except mirror dungeons. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm down to do mirror dungeons. Not, like, on stream right now, but kind of in a more general sense. Give me, like, seven of those. Okay. Mirror grind time. 
I'm hyped for, um, what do you call it? The update on the 9th. And also the one on the 16th. So this is a Teth. Let's check it out. It's 2 Lust, 3 Wrath. Shit, I don't have enough Lust on my team comp. We can mirror grind together. Ooh. <laughs> An interesting offer. Yeah, I used up my mirror bonus too. So I might just do the one daily for the Avno kill. Do I thread spin this? After defeating an enemy with an attack or counter skill, gain five ego resources of the skill's affinity. Wait. Wait, that's good. Wait, live offering is really good. Wait, that's an amazing passive. The damage at low HP is not impressive. Can't say I like that. Heal all allies on kill is great, though. Dude, yeah, the passive is amazing. The heal on kill is amazing. This shit, we, like, safely ignore that. What about this one? Failed kill, apply 10 bleed to self next turn. Oh. Okay, so this seems like a case of you don't want this shit corroding. Yeah. Do not want that corroding. Yeah, I also kind of forget that thread spinning's a thing. Uh, I had to remind myself, and then I just maxed out Hexnail and, um, and fourth match Flame Rodia. Sick for long fights, especially since missing Lust. Is it true you only- Yes, you only get the passives after you use the Ego once. They don't trigger until you've used it. When does the Corrosion proc? When you're at negative sanity, Dra Drago. Um, so if your sanity is less than zero, then you proc Corrosion. Yeah. This does more damage on Tails. True. So it rolls better if it's Corroded. But that failed kill effect sucks. Rodeon's very easy at cor Rodeon's amazing at Corrosion, yeah. Wait, let me pull her, pull her up here. Corroded Rodeon, well, actually her roll is lower when it's corroded though. But it's an AoE, and it inflicts Wrath fragili Fragility. So, like, this one's good. Rodeon's Corrosion's good. I feel like, comparably though, you, you don't want Impending Day to corrode, like, ever. I need to figure out a way to get more Wrath and more Lust on my team though. Like, Ryoshu has Lust. She doesn't have Wrath. Ebony Stem Corrosion carried you through the Snake Dude. I have never used Ebony Stem. It's just too expensive. I guess it is an AoE, though. I also just don't use Otis ever, because I don't really like Otis's identities. The Corrosion is just... It's just the regular one, but better. Wrath Feeder is Yisong's SSR. Oh, I don't want to use Yisong, though. He does have Wrath. I need someone with, like, three Wrath and two Lust. Like, Donkey helps a bit because she has three Wrath and one Lust. Let's see, that's the only Rodia I have. Ew, Sloth. Your Sinclair has Wrath? That one's also Sloth. Yeah, um... Well, I know I already have some Wrath, but it's not enough. Is the problem. Is it not? Well, actually... Actually, we are getting six Wrath coins. Maybe it is enough Wrath. Lust is more of the issue. There's Lust on you, but you have Sloth. Disgusting. You have Sloth. Lou Gregor. Use the Google Sheets to search for the Wrath. Oh, true. This Gregor. Wait. Yeah, Lou Gregor. But he has Sloth. What's his passive? Of course it's on a Sloth combo. That's kind of frustrating. Hong Lu is OP too. Yeah, he just doesn't really have the 
He doesn't have the stuff I'm looking for. Because he has sloth on him. Like, jokes aside, sloth is worthless for my team comp. None of my ego that I have on, on my main characters use sloth. I guess if I used Gregor, he doesn't even use sloth either. He has a sloth ego. He has a sloth ego that costs lust and gloom. That makes no sense. So then I'm going to have all this sloth that I have no, like, no use for. He's very strong and gives pride for Faust. This Gregor? This Greg Gregor doesn't give pride. Yeah, his ego is not good. How about you? He uses mostly gloom for his ego. Wait. He has no gloom on here though. The lust would be nice. I do need a way to gain lust. Honestly, Ryoshu is one way to gain lust, but she only has one lust. And if I was going to add Ryoshu to the team, I would probably drop Dawn. But Dawn supplies us with Wrath and Lust. And that would mean sacrificing the Wrath if I added Ryoshu. Three Lust, two Pride is very nice. True. That's nice, but the sloth, man. The one sloth just ruins everything. And also, I don't really like Honglu that much. If I had a good Heathcliff. What do you have again? She has Lust and Wrath, but she's also terrible. She's also a terrible identity. With your comp, you get an okay amount of Lust, and he's the only one that uses it. With this current comp, I am only getting Lust from Overbreathe. That's not the worst, actually. Okay, wait. So the only thing I have that's using Lust is Donkey's Ego and that shit. Yeah, Donkey's Ego uses two. And then Impending Day uses two. So actually, I could probably just get by without changing my team comp, right? If I just sacrifice Donkey's ego. If I stop using her ego and I just like funnel all lust into impending day, that could work. The apple one uses one sloth one and gluttony three and it's AoE. Holy shit. That's pretty nice. With the comp, you get an okay amount of lust. Bro, how do you have apple already? <laughs> You're playing like hardcore mirror dungeons. That is so like fluid sack is closer. That's at 20. Y'all are at battle pass 20? That's nuts. I need to do these dailies. I'll probably do them off stream though. This is why we watch streams. <laughs> what you grind while you while you watch the stream. Interesting. If the mirror is not weekly, then it gives like zero XP. No, it gives three. The average right now is twelve to thirteen. Jason Arrogay, thank you for the follow. The power of the mighty credit card. That I will believe. Stream helps pass the time. Y'all <laughs> y'all are all grinding right now, huh? Honestly, I respect it. I respect the grind. Yeah, I mean, I'd say I grinded kind of hard. And I'm only at 12. Like, I thought I played a lot of mirror dungeons. How many? I did 9. Yeah, I did 9 mirror dungeons. You have 56 hours of the game on Steam. I think I have something comparable. Honestly. Wait, let me check. Oh, no, I have 28 hours on Steam, but I also play on mobile. Grind is boring without streams? That's valid. I kind of grind while, like, watching television or stuff. Or, like, I have 
Yeah, like YouTube videos on in the background. You're at 10 or 11? That's honestly respectable. Like, I feel like... If you're doing your dailies, 11 is probably where you're at. 12 if you do more mirror dungeons than necessary. ADHD brain can't. Yeah, I feel that. Level 17, though. If anyone wants to add me, feel free. Speaking of, do I have any? No, nobody wants to be my friend. Oh. This is so sad. Okay, wait. I want to check these identities. Okay, so this one doesn't work with my team comp. How about you? Oh, oh Heathcliff. Heathcliff. Wait, Heathcliff works with my team comp. He's also a terrible identity though, isn't he? Wait. This is probably the worst identity in the game. Uh, yeah. That part's um kind of a downside. Oh, he can use the envy though. The worst she section. He's oh no. Oh no, he's worse than Ishmael. She Don I I argue is actually good. She's not great, but she's good. She Ishmael. I thought she was good at the start, but she's kind of underwhelming. See, Remnant has decent elements, but they don't really work with my comp. Uh, Kurokumo, that doesn't really work for me. Ishmael doesn't really work. What about this Heathcliff? He has Wrath. That's a... Bro, what is he doing? <laughs> Wait, I saw this on Twitter. What's he fucking doing to my screen? Nasty Heathcliff. Get out of here. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> he busted. Why is he busting, dude? He's just that excited that we finished chapter 3. I think it's just a visual bug. Alright, well the only identity that I don't have yet that even kind of works with my team comp is Heathcliff. Bro, he <laughs> he's just happy to see us. Cromer's grip lived on. He's a Cromer. Heathcliff is a Cromer, confirmed. You have so many identities. It's not even worth rolling. Exactly. That's why I don't think I'll use the guaranteed ticket anytime soon. Because I don't even want any of these SSRs. Like, I know Honglu's top tier. I know Ish... Uh, like, Ishmael I kind of want. I want Ishmael. But I know, like, Honglu's top tier. I know Rodia's almost top tier. Heathcliff is useful for mirror dungeons. But I just... I don't need them. I do want Ego. I want this Ego. Four Wrath. Two Lust. One Envy. Yeah, I'm gonna need more more Wrath and Lust gen for my team comp. For sure. Actually, if they release a Faust that has Wrath and Lust gen, then I, I would go hard for that. That would be perfect. You would give me the Ishmael Ego if you could? I appreciate the sentiment. Ew. Sloth. Wait, isn't this a bottom tier ego? I wonder why. I wonder why it's bottom tier. I wonder. Can you share stuff? No. No, you cannot, unfortunately. There's no, like, gifting system in this game. I wonder why this is a bottom tier ego. Anyway. The passive is good? What's the passive? In three, blunt protection and sloth protection? Okay, yeah. Just a permanent three blunt sloth protection. How common is sloth on enemies, though? Yeah. How common is sloth on enemies, though? Like, okay, this one also takes sloth. This one actually has good effects, though. Attack power up, lust fragility. Honestly, I feel like the sin fragility not great never even paid attention to enemy affinity i don't think i have either have i not attack affinity at least imagine if you could it would be pretty no it would be too busted if you could gift shit because you could just re-roll gift yourself everything delete the account and now you have every character i think that's why most gotcha games don't don't use that system you have ye otis and greg 
Otis is interesting. If you have... Wait, and then what's Gregor's again? Sloth. Okay, well... Then you would want a Sloth comp, Drago. You're probably on the Sloth, sloth gang. <laughs> Brotherhood of Sloth. Yeah, I do want to see the new Encorp skills. I'm curious. Because I think it's very unlikely that Rodia fits into my team comp. I think... Wait. No, maybe there are no gacha games that have gifting. There's like MMOs that do it, but that's a different thing, I guess. The ego from gacha are eh. The battle pass ego go crazy? Really? Honestly, I believe it. The battle pass ego that I've gotten so far are already pretty sick. And I can only imagine... Um, I kind of mostly just want these Ego because there's a 1% chance to get them and the Gambler in me. It, it craves. It craves the rare shit. You heard only Pursuance and Lantern are good? I heard... What was it? Someone came in the other day and said that Cairn and Hexnail are the only bad ones. And Corp hype, yo! I can't wait for the uh, the Inquisitors to show up. You got a lot of lunacy. Don't look at that. <laughs> the Faust BP one heals everybody. Oh right, I did hear that. Pursuance is good though, isn't it? It's thirty percent, and it's the lowest HP, so that's solid as hell, and gives them protection. No, yeah, Pursuance is great. I think Ardor Blossom Star is also good. Yeah, this also looks great. The burn is not amazing, but everything else. Uh, Yasin Yada, I'm not super impressed by, but the attack up to two random allies is... It's nice. I feel like this might be too expensive to justify it, though. The SP heal. It works, though. Like, you're getting your sanity back, at least, so it might as well be zero cost. Is there any way to fight the Acid Sack enemy outside of Mirror? I don't know what the Acid Sack is. I had Lantern on my first account. Oh, it's got big heals. After defeating an enemy that has Rupture Heal... Okay, so this is just all about healing, Gregor. Just full-on heal, Gregor. Combos well with his SSR. He will never die if you have those. I've never seen the beheaded shark in my nine mirror dungeon runs. Too bad you can't check out the battle pass ego. Yeah, you just have to kind of wait till you get them. I haven't looked at them on the wiki either because it's more fun if it's a surprise. Gregor has the best obtainable ego sets right now. I don't know what Apple does, but we'll find out eventually. Only seen it once and it was hard. Ooh, I want to fight Beheaded Shark. I want, I want to see a new abnormality. I feel like the enemies in the Chapter 3 dungeon were not even Abnos. Like, I don't know what the fuck that was. It was just Encorp dudes possessed by... What do you call it? Possessed by nothing there. Possessed by snakes. And then it was just... Cromer turns into one of the generic lust enemies. Would be weird if he's mirror only. I think he is mirror only though, right? Because there's literally no other way you could see him. Unless he's like chapter 4 or something. But maybe they do have like... Mirror dungeon exclusive abnos. Which would totally make sense. There's mirror dungeon exclusive ego gifts, so... Chromer distorted. It was she distorted in the one of the most fucking generic enemies. The shark will be fightable in a week. Oh, hype! Shark in a week. Changing how it works includes adding new abnos to it. They're adding two new dun- wait, real- not for mirror dungeons though, those are Luxcavations. That's different. 
And the Mirror Dungeon update, I think all they're actually changing for Mirror Dungeons is changing the, the rewards, right? Bot agents, this Cerberus Wolf? I wonder if I've seen that. I might have seen that. Was it like kind of generic looking? Or was it like a full scale Abno? The Abno shows the, shows the shark and wolf. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think I might call it here then. I don't really need to do a mirror dungeon run since I have my Abno kill for the daily missions. Oh, it's that one. It's the Backstreet Guard Dog. It's the one that Heathcliff's ego is from. The shark has an attack where he claps your... <laughs> sounds about right. That sounds like a Project Moon game. It's a uh, telepool. Telepool Heathcliff. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to call it here. We did it. We beat chapter three. Now I got to figure out how to squeeze fucking content out of this game. Post your friend ID. It's pinned in the discord. Or you can just like look at it there. Yo, GG's. No content. No content for the next several months. I can't wait. <laughs> I'll probably figure out some way to stream this game again because I'm addicted. It might literally just be like Mirror Dungeon runs for fun or something. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks everyone who chatted, lurked. We have a long road ahead of us waiting for new content. So um, yeah, no, chapter four, they divided into three different parts. So it's going to take them a, like over a month to roll the entire thing out too. Plus the battle pass is also divided. And apparently they're like adding each section of the battle pass at the same time that that part of the chapter comes out. Which is interesting. It's an interesting way to do it. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, Dead Week. Woo! Mirror Dungeons. Uh, just probably fighting Guido or Ida or something for fun is what I'm going to be doing on or off stream. We'll see. But anyway, uh, the next stream will be on Wednesday. So I don't know what I'm going to stream. Maybe a different game. Like maybe I'll just pick a random game and stream it. Oh, and then we also have the tier list stream that I have to do. Maybe I'll do the tier list stream on Wednesday. And then maybe we'll play like a random ass game on Thursday. Try builds against a hard human fight. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty satisfied with my like core team comp though. I'm pretty satisfied with just these five characters. They pretty much work for everything. But yeah, Wednesday we can do a, a tier list. That would be fun. So yeah, look forward to that, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. A uh, great start to your week. And I will catch you on Wednesday with, I guess, the tier list stream. Um, Yeah. Oh, wait, but I also want... when When is Wednesday? What day of the week is Wednesday? Wednesday is... Fuck, it's the 8th. Wait. Maybe we do it late on Wednesday then. Maybe we do it... I'm going to look at what time the N-Corp characters come out. Because I want to do the tier list after the characters come out so that we can include them in the tier list. So we might have to postpone to Thursday then. But we'll see. I'll get, like... I'll let you guys know. What's your time zone? EST. So, like, right now it is... 8.30 for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, have a good night, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you with whatever we end up doing on Wednesday. You work until about 6. Okay, so if it, like, if they roll it out midnight Korean time, is it midnight? Or it might be 10 a.m. Korean time? I don't know. Midnight Korean time is 4 p.m. for me. 10 a.m. Korean time? But that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make... Okay. Anyway, just keep updated. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Good night. I'll catch you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.